Maka. Hi, Maka. Hi, Maka. Hi, Maka. Hi, Maka. Hi, Maka. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Oh, my God. The level up of uh, interface today. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a new thing. Hi, everybody. How are you doing today? Uh, it is... I love this fucking song. It's so Me too. Cool. It's mm -hmm. elevator real. I love it. Oh, now it's ending. Um, at least introduce yourself first. So everyone meet Maka. Everyone this is Maka, everybody. Maka. Um, Hi, Maka. Incredibly wonderful. Hi, Maka. Um, but yes, <laughs> welcome. If you haven't been here before, welcome to Tales of the Torn Veil. Scorpio, thank you for the beat. Thank you for the bitties. Oh, so Scorpio, much. Scorpio, thank you for the bits. Maka, thank you for the gift subs. V. That's so, so many zeros. So much. That was an incredible I, amount of zeros, V. Mm -hmm. I barfed inside my face. Inside yeah. of your face. I barfed inside oh. of Key's face. Ew. <laughs> oh, it's okay for you to do it, but I do it suddenly. It's gross. I'm gonna, hang on. Oh, no. I don't know how many health points I have left. <laughs> I, I certainly never get a long rest so oh, that's four points of psychic damage okay i need to track that i need to track how many points of psychic damage i lose um <laughs> thank you for the golden kappa hype train apparently we looked it up apparently yeah. golden kappa is like a rare spawn it's like, like getting a shiny pokemon it's like super yeah it doesn't happen so, ever so i mean if you guys decide to support i guess you know if that's something you decide to do because clearly not nothing's happened yet uh that is a joke for legal reasons i'm blushing severely <laughs> um <laughs> then that means you get the chance to unlock some really neat different emotes for it mm -hmm. so that's cool val in different the chat emotes. but not val in the game what what look feywild capitalism happens across realms okay Doing his best. So I'm just saying right now, you know, normally Al's here. We got a two to three hat ratio, but right now it's one to three and the hat the hat ratio is all off. I'll put Winnie on my head. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, does that count? Yeah. 50 50 hat. Okay, we're good. Does Winnie's <laughs> head tattoo count as a hat? <laughs> hmm. I think Is it gone by now? No, no, it's like Oh, I need to what check my like 15 days or something left? I think so. <laughs> the most long lasting effect of wild magic in this campaign so far is the soba tattoo that is on Winnie's. Yeah, project. she has like 15 days left. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, in case you missed it, we are Tales of the Torn Veil. Vale. Uh, this is a campaign that is mostly homebrew, but also a lot of DD. A bit of both. Uh, why homebrew? Because why not make your own world and also i don't have time to learn the difference between tear and um that other guy whose name i've forgotten leviatar so you know i know they're very different uh, i was thinking of a different one but i can't remember his name so that's why we homebrewed it because i don't know it um you send pics oh i don't know we will check we will check because we are also going to say hi to everyone shortly so if you are lurking lurking be sure to say hi and we will say hi back to you unless you don't want to be said hi to but we still we still appreciate you Twenty thousand, um, my god yeah i don't believe we did um i'm not sure it should it should pop up for you if it did um but yes we are fantasy vibes there we go there it is thank you so much for the pity <laughs> very much appreciated and uh yeah the story basically is if you missed it tldr this group of adventurers otherwise known as the breakfast club very original name um <laughs> they have joined an organization called the espers and the espers are here to try and help combat some uh less than ideal uh symptoms of the arconic veil of reality and the fabric of the world being uh torn hence the name um and the the ancient the ancient ones uh the ancient gods have sent the mortals through uh just some of them 
a little task of like making sure that people don't pretend to be gods and you know make cults to fake power and do evil and stuff and so the group are trying to stop that from happening one uh opera heist granny bakery heist uh <laughs> backs hidden bar at a armory heist uh one kid punch in the face one unnecessary possum murder at a time um which is what we mostly end up doing which is fine because we're here to enable each other make some entirely wonderful chaotic serendipitous stories together and have loads of fun and sometimes drama but mostly mostly fun hopefully although saying that we have a missing child to find in a town with potentially a werewolf maybe more in it that we are currently in but why don't we meet the players and i think because of the theming of what we have going on so far i would like to hear it doesn't have to be a loud one it doesn't have to be a long one but i would love to hear a personalized little ow from everyone on their introduction um and we're gonna go in a reverse non -ex non descript order so we'll start with the wonderful camellia played by the even more wonderful Rubes. Hello, I'm Rubes. I make stuff. I play Camellia Throws. Um, oh, Rubes. <laughs> I play Camellia, the Sensator Ranger with a frog named Winnie, who is magically from the Feywild and is not going to explain the backstory whatsoever. Yes. Mm. <laughs> Definitely does not have a. It definitely is not an Epo baby from mm. the Court of Extravagance in the Feywild. Mm. Um, next up, we have the legendary, you must say it right, Bifon Vestes, as played by the wonderful, much easier to say, Dime Package. Hey, I'm Dime Package, and I play Bifon the Stairs, the man with the loveliest sideburns, where I have sort of like reverse sideburns right now, I guess Ooh. you could say. <laughs> yes I don't know if it cut out or if it was just a real short owl but I love it uh, <laughs> it's still going <laughs> uh, next up we have the ever amazing Tarquin played by the also very easy to say never wrong never butchered Darian Audio <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hey. Darian. Happy to be here with all of you, and I'll be playing the part of Tarquin, who you know is the world's strongest, most handsome monk, who has very beautiful silver hair, and if my math is correct, silver is werewolf's weakness, right? Uh, the we might be is. safe. We might Maybe. be safe. Mm. I don't know. Mm. We might be safe. I am invincible, so I don't know. <laughs> I mean, you are a monk, so you get way too many attacks and are basically yeah. <laughs> in, in, invulnerable to everything. Um, <laughs> maybe. But last but by no means least, that was ominous. Last but by no means least, we have the incredible Luto Bayani, played by Game of Bear, aka JC. Oh, thank you. I'm Game of Bear. I'm JC. <laughs> I'm playing Ludo Bayani. I'm sick today still, but we're going to be here. It's, everything's going to be okay. Oh! <laughs> oh! 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 We're wooing. We're good. Sorry. I apologize for any sniffles or sneezes or coughs you might hear today. That's okay, bud. No worries. Allergic to werewolves, maybe. Oh. Uh, and... And hi, I'm Key. I'm also here. Um, and I'm gonna be your DM. Uh, <laughs> just baby husky. <laughs> Pretty good. Just the song of their people, less than an owl. Um, but yes, I am the DM. I orchestrate the chaos. 
love the chaos and also regret the chaos. Um, but it is so wonderful to have you guys here. Um, shall we speed run saying hi to everybody in chat once again? Because that always goes really well. Oh. <laughs> or I, you know what? I can, I can do this one, you guys. I got this. I just need someone drop a beat, and I got this. <laughs> I don't know why I need a beat. <laughs> we have. <coughs> oh, there's a lot of people today. Oh no, the chat doesn't go all the way back. So I'm gonna try my best. Rockstary, hello! Subdued, hello! Gamer Bear, hello! I am also here. Rockstary, hello again! <laughs> all the same. Zombie V, hello again! Fry, Maka 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 Maka! Subdued again! Scorpio Slayer, Rubes again! And again! <laughs> Akakaze 25, Mashima Maka again, also me and Roxas. Subdued, like Kobe Corgis. Scorpio Talkies. Akakaze, Scorpio with idiots. Akakaze again, Maka Maka, Scorpio, Roxas. Balthias, subdued who's and Balthias. Fluffy Corgis again. Balthias, Fluffy Corgis, Fluffy Corgis. Everybody, uh, that's that's all the people I know. I know there are more people that came in earlier, but my thing will not let me scroll up any earlier. But hello to all our usual beans and lovelies. We see you and we love you. And that was incredible. Thank you guys. That was more that was more of a bop than i ever thought it would be <laughs> uh because there you guys um so with that shall we play dnd let's do it Woo. so which song <laughs> shall we start with sure so, last time, for those who missed it, the team's current quest takes place in Vinefell Creek, a little secluded wooden hamlet in the kind of central area of Yadash. Not far, strangely enough, from the monastery that Tarquin calls home. Upon getting to Vinefell Creek, they knew that there was a child called Kinry Mosswater who was missing. Um, the other residents there included his family, his mother, father, and sibling, a tiny four-year-old. Um, there's also the Owlsley family with Grenfer, who's the kind of mayoral figure. Um, Tisha, his wife, who the party haven't really spoken to much at this point. Um, Sarah, the um, very pregante, um, <laughs> slightly spitfire lady, um, and her from out of town <coughs> fiance, uh, Jonas, who has been inventor inventing this cool little thing that can capture a still image that's like a painting, but not crazy. Um, there's also the Didices. Um, Oh, no worries! <laughs> um, we also have the Didis family. We have Megalyn Didis, who was the schoolmistress, and her younger sister, Tommy. Now, unfortunately, to Megalyn Didis has been murdered. Unfortunately. But her sister, who is um, around 11 years old, uh, survived and is for reasons that the party only just discovered has been shielding the town with a spell that makes sure that anyone coming into the sphere cannot do so with aggression and with violent intent less so on the other direction but um it it's was in the hopes that should there be anything in the um in the forest that was trying to attack people on the inside, that it would 
keep them out. Unfortunately, with Meglin's death, we found out that the call was coming from inside the house. Um, in addition to Meglin and Tommy, we have Horace Grasbean, who uh, was very sweet for Meglin, um, helped out with the schoolhouse duties, but is also a builder. Uh, he has a strange scar on his neck that he claims to be from the building site. Whether the, uh, the players believe that is the case or not is definitely up for debate. I don't um, believe it. <laughs> uh, I think Horace has been one of the top subjects uh, suspects for a while. We also, of course, have Effie Bloom, the town gossip and butcher, and her son Brad, whose name doesn't quite fit with everyone else's apparently, much to name. the entertainment of everyone. Um, Brad also being about 10, 11, 12 years old. Um, kind of a kind of a dick, but uh, did a help out uh, with some of the reading of uh, a book in Old Osprey last week. Um, last but not least, we have uh, Vic Masterson and Yor Ridley, um, these kind of uh, busybody figures in the town going around doing their business. They also have a wolf hound called Fergus who helped sniff out the trail for Kinry. And last but by no means least, Rian Frostall. Uh, who the town, who the group have all but pretty much, I think, pegged as a werewolf. The question is, after finding a clue in Megalyn Dedis's house in Old Osborne, which many of the fairy tale books were written in, the group began to have suspicions that there were more in the town than just Rian with this curse potentially as they found a translation for the words all so with that the group headed into the forest looking for signs of Kinry and indeed came upon a small opening in the forest with a tree a page from the book, the favourite book of Kinry, a shoe and some torn fabric, but no sign of any body, minus two pairs of golden glowing eyes in the thickets in the forest around them, which is where we begin our session. As you see the eyes around you, though you sense the wolves out in the forest, they aren't leaving the darkness. They aren't leaving the bushes or the thickets or the trees. Nor do they seem to be... Well, they haven't attacked you yet. Um, which does suggest that they are not, at least at this point, aggressive. But they are watching. What would you like to see? Can I roll insight to see kind of what their vibe is toward us? Yeah, absolutely. First roll of the day. It's an 18. 18. And because you guys did another level 8 friggin' hype train, there will be consequences for that as well, so don't don't worry. I'm noticing all of these things. Um with with an 18, you have spent your time both around nature and various animal folk um, both of which have tendencies of the other um, these wolves are not showing signs so much of aggression so much as they are of 
they are very wary and almost in a defensive position. Like they're looking at you and keeping their heads low and their shoulders haunched. But their bodies are kind of almost blocking you. Um, they're making themselves appear wider as if to be like please don't fuck with us uh, rather than yeah gonna mess you up kind of thing they're not trying to grow themselves out of uh, creating fear they're doing so out of defense and it's unlikely that they'll attack without provocation mm -hmm. Uh, it, it it looks like they're not gonna attack us unless them unless we attack them first. Are you able to ask them if they've seen the kid? Uh, sure. I'll cast Speak with Animals. Okay. How many castings of Speak with Animals have you got per day? Uh, I have four spell oh. slots, <laughs> and I already. Nice. I already cast it before to talk to friends. Yeah, I was I was uh, mm. checking because I was yeah Same. we had uh, yeah cool. Okay, yeah, you cast speak with animals. What do you say? Yay. Uh, hello. We're the Breakfast Club. Yeah. We know. Do I recognize that voice? Uh, roll or an insight check for me, please. Roll what? Oh, history or perception. Sorry, not insight. Mm. I'll do this. <laughs> Ooh, nice. 22. Oh, shit! Mm -hmm. Dead ass! Um... You know that to be the voice of Yorv Ritley. Yorv? You see the wolf's eyes kind of dart just to the right slightly. No. <laughs> um, with your very high perception roll, you can automatically tell that he is lying. <laughs> uh, that is Yorv. Guys, that's Yorb. Which one is Yorb? That wolf right there. No, I mean, who in the town is oh. Yorb? Uh. He's one of the builders. Mm. Oh. That's the owner of the dog. Is everybody hear... in town a dog? You hear behind you, um, Camellia, the other wolf just go did you just did you just tell them your freaking name no they they just they guessed it oh for fuck's sake man um Camille, you know that to be the voice of Vic Masterson <laughs> <laughs> these wolves are the villagers so, so who else, else here? is here? Who else is here? She'll say to the wolves. Don't say a thing, Yorv. Can you just talk normal? We already know it's you, so... Oh, maybe because they're dog. Oh! <laughs> Let's not offend them. Bark, bark. I have I... no idea. You have no idea what you're saying right now. I have a biscuit. You want a biscuit? Okay. Uh, if you guys are hungry, eat him. He's the biggest. No. Camelia, you see your nose kind of snuffle slightly. Vic just. Hey, hey. I can see your nose going, Yorv. Don't do it. I forgot breakfast this morning. Awesome jerky, you like it? We have food. If you'll come out and talk to us. I mean, we're already 
talking to you. We, we're perfectly comfortable staying here, thank you. Speak oh, you so can that... toss the food in. Speak so that my like... friends can understand you too. Not just me. I can't do that right now, if I'm afraid. I'll pull out a her. strip. I'll pull up a Cosmo Crisp. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> and wave it. Wave it. Oh, pretty good. Hansi was just a real fucking thick possum. <laughs> <laughs> enough for three bags of Cosmo Crisps. Um, you see, uh, yeah, uh, Vic could say, "Look, we kind of talk while we're like this." They can't talk if they're in wolf. Why are you in wolf for how? Well, uh, you know how sometimes you get pins and needles and you can't control when it happens? Mm hmm. <laughs> His head kind of darts to the side and then looks back at you. It's, it's like that. I've not really got any control of it. They want me to throw it on the ground? It's dirty. I mean... Look, we're not gonna hurt you unless you hurt us. And I feel like you guys are the same way, so just... Do you want some food? They just told me that they can't control the wolf thing. I mean, toss it into the forest and we'll eat it and we'll mind our business. And not tell anyone what you're doing out here. Uh, they want us to toss the food over there. What do you guys think? Oh, okay. I think we should give them the food, but uh, maybe ask for their cooperation in finding Kingry. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll throw the <laughs> food, but uh, accidentally throw it uh, short so that they would have to step out into the clearing the clearing to get it. Hey! Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. My, sorry. <laughs> Yorv is like, no, that's okay, that's close enough, and starts to move out, and <laughs> Vic is just like, oh, for fuck's sake, Yorv! Come on, man! Oh. And, yeah, you see Yorv just kind of pootle out, grab it, and Hi, quick tail it back into the to the underbrush and just. What's he come. look like? A wolf? A werewolf? Um, he looks like if anyone is familiar. Um, there are I think I think I've forgotten their names, but I think they're just called long-legged wolves. Um, they're kind of like if uh, <laughs> they're they're just like very long-legged wolves, but they're they're kind of. Uh, generally, they are a more reddish color coat. Oh yeah, and oh, quite like narrow, kind of jackly faces. Yeah, yeah a lot. Perfect description. Yeah, a lot more jackly. Um, it's like a dog and on you stilts. Do see, yes, mm. and you do see that their fur does um, is very reminiscent of their actual hair colors. Um, so um, Vic and Yorv both have kind of dark, dirty blonde hair. Um, so instead of like the quite rich red, uh, you see that it's kind of this darker, dirty blonde uh, hair. You're slightly put more put together than Vic. I got more food. Of... Do we want more food? Uh, how many pairs of eyes do we see? I'm about to roll a perception check if the DM would allow to see uh, how many there are here. I was about to say, on on from what you know currently, two pairs of eyes. But you may roll perception to see if you see any more. Yorv's just getting into them. Possibly uh, the dirtiest of twenties. Ooh. <laughs> what a phenomenal dirty twenty. Um, just little gold claps. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, it's quiet. Uh, you thankfully don't see any more pairs of wolf eyes. You do see as the clearing opens up further ahead, though. Um, someone just standing in the center of this completely open clearing. 
Is the person that? Mm hmm. You believe? Oh, Bifon would believe it's a person. Mm -hmm. Shorter stature. Daddy? <laughs> Damn. Uh, there is no sign of a purple hat. <laughs> oh god, we lost Danny. Childlike so I just... Oh, where'd he go? So... It disappears, weird. There's just some... There's just a silhouette over there. I just... I can't make out who it is. Yeah, it's it's not dissimilar to the art background that's on the stream, but if you remove the houses and kind of where the the kind of central <laughs> central bushes I, just is kind of where realize. you see the silhouette. The silhouette. Just didn't realize we moved that far away from the clearing. Mm hmm. It just kind of opens up further ahead. I'll go over and see who it is then. Do you tell the others, or you just start walking walking in that direction? Oh no, I tell the others first. Okay. There's, there's someone over in the clearing. Um, yeah, keep the boys chatting. See uh, if they know where the kid is. I'll go see about this. I start making sandwiches. <laughs> All right. Let us know if you need any help. Sure thing. So, guys, uh, rough day. <laughs> uh. Uh, thankfully, they cannot understand you. <laughs> I translate. <laughs> uh, hey, where, where's your friend going? Uh, just checking something out. How's the food? Uh, no, no, that's not all right. Uh, you have to call him back. Why? You have to call him back. We said we'd cooperate. We didn't say we'd ex have to explain. Uh, Bifon, as you approach, you see where you found fabrics of torn clothing before. You see the back of a shirt with kind of puzzle piece shapes torn out of it. Not dissimilar to the shirt you found. Um, this kind of three and a bit foot tall person only has one shoe on kind of quite grubby feet and legs and all over really very ruffled dark hair and they're facing away as you approach Can I roll another perception check? Certainly can. Anything in particular you're looking for? Ill will. Okay. Um, perhaps to see if I can make out check. more detail on them. Also to sense if there's anything else around because I ran, we all ran, I think a couple of checks when we got to that clearing. We walk away for two seconds, and all of a sudden, all this is going on behind us. Hmm. We didn't even notice the wolves in the forest before. I think maybe we should check again. Okay. Twenty-four. Ooh, wonderful. Um, you can pretty much definitively by looking at this body in front of you. Stand, standing body, not... <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> Haven't just suddenly fallen <laughs> over. Um, you see the clothing, you see the shoe, you're putting the pieces together. Uh, as you get closer, you see the arms and the hands just full. So much dirt under the fingernails. The hands look slightly large for that of a child. The nails more claw like in texture and length. 
darker and thicker arm hair than you'd imagine. This kid is definitely Kinry. But there is more to it than that. I'd like to cast a tech match, please. Okay. Please do. And no, it is. A crow goes overhead. <laughs> <laughs> Casted. Okay. You definitely sense some form of arcana. No shit. But not from the kid. Uh, roll oh. a history check for me, please. Oh, fuck. History or nature. I'll allow either. I'll allow it. <laughs> mm. I'll go history. Okay. If ten. Um... You know, generally, that werewolves, like, from what you've heard of werewolves, um, you, you'd you know that it's, to your knowledge, not a spell. You don't get put under a spell to be a werewolf. Mm -hmm. It is, um, sometimes it's a curse, but maybe it's, like, an infection thing. The details are a little misty, but... You're, it's not like super crazy that it's not magic but if it's not magic why are you sensing magic and then it becomes obvious as you look to your left with your high perception you hear footsteps in the grass you hear almost a jovial tread rather than just footstep and footstep. It's got a pacing to it, a rhythm to it. Danny? Almost as if someone <laughs> is skipping. It's hard to really tell in the dark differences between shades of pink and red and white especially with flame reflecting from below but the horns in the face are clear as any day and as clear as the memory from ash sky of the screams the smell of burning flesh. The crackling as trees and tents and shrines were torn asunder by flames raining from the sky. Itirin said her name was Ginnick. And she is skipping towards you, as if none of any of that memory existed in her mind. <laughs> it's the one with the hair. Hello. How are you doing? Oh, you found him. Oh, that's so good. I'm glad he's safe. Hmm. And you see she goes next to the child, kind of puts a hand round his shoulder. I don't have anything to say. I was going to say hi back, but she didn't want to hear what I had to say. I'm just staring. <gasps> oh, we're very quiet, aren't we? 
Oh, I hope we don't have any hard feelings for what happened in Ash Sky. Like, I promise you... Tefima is safe somewhere, I think. Oh, Tefima. Can't say the same for his cat. Mm. <laughs> anyway, has, uh, where's, where's your friends? So, Guys? what brings you here? Oh. Um, everyone else roll a perception check for me, please. And advantage. It's not a hard roll. Uh, if it's higher than a ten, you hear her calling out to you and, and see. Um, everyone but Camellia would know exactly who the fuck she is. <laughs> um... Camellia, you'd see this really friendly looking uh, pink tiefling lady. Um, very like jovial, almost gesture like colors and patterns on her uh, garb. Oh, do you guys know her? Yeah, she burned a town we were in. Oh. What a. Darkwin, I... isn't that a bad guy? Oh, I don't remember. I but, think, uh, remember we were fighting the chain and then the cat lady punched the chain and it broke? Oh, uh, the one on the ship? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, definitely terrible people. What are you doing here? Oh, well your friend just asked that. Why don't you come over and then we don't have to yell in the forest and disturb all the lovely little creatures and bunnies. Okay. Mm -hmm. You want a sandwich? Sure, if you're offering. Okay, one second. Make her a sandwich. Get over. I'll look to the wolves and ask, Do you guys know her? They just bow their heads quietly. Hmm. Avoiding eye contact. I walk over and one hand sassily on hip, the other hand offering the sandwich. Thank you so much. What's in it? Possum. Possum. Mm. It's good. Arugula, alfalfa sprouts, lettuce. You killed a possum yourself? We did, yes, yeah, a team. Hey, what, uh, but why are you here? <laughs> Man after my own heart. Well, you see. You know, I was just taking a nice walk through the forest the other day. Just breathing in the air. And I came upon this little kid with a lovely little book and a beautiful old language and a dream. And, you know, I you like found to Kimberly? make dreams come true. Kimberly, yeah, he's right here. And you see the kid still facing away from you, kind of facing into her. Um, into her um you you see the kid just wearing the torn clothes the singular shoe Henry, are you okay uh, i'm gonna slowly we... walk around to the other side of the kid mm -hmm. Kenry doesn't respond um beef on you'd see he's just kind of staring straight ahead doesn't seem to be in immediate distress i'll i'll advance with my arm reached out like i'm gonna reach for Kinry. well 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 well, well. Don't let a girl answer the question before you come in so aggressive, huh? I'm just trying to make sure he's safe. We're, we're looking for that kid. I don't know if you know you that. You think I would do anything to him? To hurt him? Well, whatever happened to our priest friend? You took him, right? And he is perfectly safe. Oh, okay, that's good. You should know more than anyone that anyone that was on that island had a higher chance of mortality. Yeah. Fatal damage. Lost a lot of good people that day. You killed my uncle Jing Jong. Ah, Uncle Jing Jong. Yes, well, some causes are just worth fighting for. And he did try. Oh, he tried, but. I've never seen an otter folk's neck be so brittle before. Hey. Hmm? What do you want? Why Why are you here? 
Oh, anyway, um, yes, so this small, lovely little kid was wandering out in the forest with no guidance and no help, and, you know, I said, well, what... Do you want to protect your family and live out your dreams? And naturally, the kid said yes, and so I made that happen for him. Is that a crime? His parents have been looking for him. Well, not hard enough. He's not been but 20-minute walk from the hamlet this entire time. Is okay. that really caring for your child? Now it's time for him to go home. Give me the boy. Ah, oh, I suppose so. But you gotta let him show you his new skills first. Right, Kinry? Remember what we practiced? And you see his head nod slightly. Great. <laughs> Do you guys want to see the show? You really should stick around for it. Henry, are you okay? No, thanks. You start to hear his breathing become more labored. More growl added each time he breathes. Everybody roll initiative for me, please. Oh, we're gonna kill a kid. Oh, oh we can't kill this dun, 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 dun. kid. We already we already found him. It's fine. I mean, we yeah. We technically all we had to do was find him. There's nothing said we had to bring him back alive. <laughs> maybe maybe this is the song for this actually. Let's find out. Okay, well they did shit. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, this is the one. <laughs> okay, Danny isn't here. No one punched the kid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have them, we have them, we have them, and we have them. Thank God. Okay. We got some organizing to do. So we got Ludo. What would we get? I got an eight, I believe. A six. A six. Wonderful. Tarquin. That is 20. That is 20. Yes. Bipon. 18. 18. Beautiful. We haven't had any overlapping numbers yet, which is good. Maybe we don't fuck it up now. <laughs> Why did you do that? I'm going to do it 20. Ah. You also got to do it 20. Stop it, da 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 Okay, Camellia and Tarquin, rolly, please. I know technically you look for who's got the highest dexterity, but that's no fucking fun. Give me rollies. Maybe it's Another just a hair trigger response. Just a, just a, just a, uh, D20, and then whoever right. gets highest wins out. Oh, I mean, I got a nat 20. Oh, oh you got a nat 20? Never oh. mind! My apologies. Alright. Oh, Camellia, you get the wonderful thing in D&D &D where it's potentially a very scary fight, and you get the honor of going first, and then you realize, oh, fuck, I've got to do something right now first. Fuck. Ah. Um, so that's fun. GG. Enjoy. <laughs> while I put everyone else in order. <laughs> Everybody, it's time for a fight. First things first, we killed the kid. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Roger that. Priorities. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Amelia just throws her deer legs around him and snaps his neck. <laughs> <laughs> this is when she uses the jump to <laughs> do the, the legendary jump damage. All right. We haven't seen it yet, but now is the time. Okay. This is the music for sure. Okay. So, in order, we have Camellia, Tarquin, Gimmick, Bifon, potentially Yorv, Ludo, potentially Kinray, and potentially Vic. 
in me. Okay. So. Camellia, you are first. Tarquin, you are on deck. Then we have an enemy. Beef on enemy. Ludo. So. Camellia. Um, you see. We will say that you're all within approximately 10 feet of uh, Kinray and uh, Gimmick, who are within 5 feet of each other. And Yorv and Vic are still in the uh, undercover shrubbery of the forest behind you, approximately 50 feet away. Uh, 60 feet, because it's easier, actually. Uh, it's easier to remember. Um, so... Kinri has not transformed yet. Something is happening. Present tense. Gimmick has not attacked yet either. We can roll with this as just kind of flavor text conversation until something does happen. But we now have at least an order in which to go. So would anyone like to do anything explicitly before kind of official initiative starts? Like we can do take take an action in the game? Um, taking an action will start like the initiative order proper. Um, but if you want to like just talk things out first, there's not like... A fight is potentially brewing, I see. but there's no like direct action that has been taken yet unless you want to be the one to take that first primary action which will kick things off gonna walk towards gimmick okay uh and so you never answered the question what are you doing here i came to help little kenry here and i missed you guys I wanted to come say hi. Also, one of your friends has this really cool thing that I really need. So I'll be. How did you know we were too. here? <laughs> I didn't. I've actually been here a while myself. You guys came to me. Oh, yeah. What were you up to while you were here all this time? <gasps> oh, you are asking all the juicy. I like I'm it, not Juicy. Quite ready to, <laughs> not quite ready to disclose those facts yet. Happy Valentine's Day. DM, real quick, did, what, there was mm -hmm. werewolves in the fire fight in Ash Sky, right? Yes. Ah. <laughs> She's like a werewolf <laughs> maker. Oh, I love that gasp so much! My power is only growing! She's a werewolf <laughs> bride! In the the privacies of come true! I'm just saying it was fucking weird! <laughs> <laughs> there have been some coinky dinks, I'm just saying! <laughs> But yeah, I've been here a little while. I was trying to have a nice vacay and then this whole kid gone missing drama happened and the arcane rails going all crazy and, you know, I thought, mm, maybe there's some ad some adventures that could help. And here you are. I really appreciate it, you guys. Oh, cool. Yeah, glad we could help. Uh, so what was it that you wanted? I'll be taking Tarquin's armband right now, if that's okay. Oh, uh, Tarquin? You yeah. wanna uh, give this lovely lady your armband? I'll give in my fist first. <laughs> Is that a challenge? Well, no, I it's a promise. A challenge. Oh. That sounds good to me. I he didn't say no. Then. Might want to hurry up with that thing, Kenry. No, no. Kenry, okay, are... your mother misses you very much. Come here, boy. Come, come here. Ooh. We are going to start official, um, official initiative with Tarquin's promise. Um, 
Kinry is going to roll at advantage because, damn, two 19s. Damn, boy. Uh, Kinry manages to fend off his powers for the moment. And Gimmick will be the first to strike and then initiative will start properly. Gimmick will whistle. The yeah. act. DM. Mm -hmm. What's a, what 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 celebrity does gimmick look like? <laughs> <laughs> also, like what what race? I don't know, but she is like a very almost like pastel pinkish white tiefling uh, with uh, very again very like jovial almost clown core vibes uh, like oh, yeah. light peach and um baby pink makeup uh and like a deep red just blood red on the lips all right um, La last question uh, what, what's her opinion on sma is she cool or... um you can do an sma check real quick <laughs> um no don't i don't know i didn't i don't want to cause a whole thing it's just a question S uh, no you're good you're good um <laughs> sma just it's hard to pick up smx vibes but if you had to guess smx would probably be like the fuck is this um you yeah because smx pretty serious straight edge a little bit like mischievous but like evil mischief whereas gimmicks just like Hee -hee -hee, i'm gonna kill everyone um so like quite a difference in attitudes Got it. yeah uh, so Gimmick is going to whistle, um, and Camellia, you would probably just very quietly hear Yorv and Vic say something behind you. You may roll, yeah, roll a perception check to see if you can hear what they say. Mm -hmm. And then, what is it? She will do a little, a little itty bitty. Uh, she's gonna do a little curse. Um, she's I gonna got put. Ten. You do not hear what they say, unfortunately, but you do hear them talking. Um, mm. whatever she did, it has maybe activated the wolves. Um, the more regular wolves. Uh. Yeah, she is going to curse Tarquin. And uh, for the duration, Tarquin has a disadvantage on strength and dexterity checks and takes 1d8 necrotic damage if he makes more than one attack on his turn. <gasps> I mean, you had to throw an anti monk bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when I saw that blood curse, I just went, mmm. Tarquin's gonna hate that. <laughs> I'm gonna kill her so badly. She really wants that armband. It would it would go with her eyes so well. Um, but she's gonna start her turn just with that. And so, Camellia, it is your turn. Tarquin, you are on deck. What would you guys like to do? I would like to... use Entangle on Yorv and Vic. Okay. They are... So how how much area does it cover? Because they are kind of separate from each other. 90 feet. Fuck. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> fine. <laughs> yep, that'll do it. Uh, what do they need to throw to succeed? A12. Um, Vic succeeds. Yorv is Entangled you see just the vines sprouting up underneath them and you see uh, Vic just about jump out of the way you're fully paying attention to something the fuck else entirely and uh, gets his long long paws uh, stuck in the mire and tangle of of tangle of roots <laughs> roots and grasses and Ivy and burrs. Boots with the burrs. With the Sorry. burrs. 
<laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, anything else? Uh, I'll just warn everybody else, like, keep an eye on the wolves. She has them under her power or something. <gasps> what? You're painting me out as if I'm some kind of bad guy. And I didn't- I don't even know you, little horn girl. Pretty disrespectful to your elders, don't you think? I thought you were raised better. I thought you were old. <laughs> you don't know me. Um, oh, but I do. I what? really do. Tarquin, if, if that's it, Camellia, or are you doing anything else? That's it. Okay, Tarquin, it is your turn. Flavor text can happen anytime, by the way, if you want to just chat it out. You can do. Okay, so uh, let's recap. If I hit her more than once, I get 1d10 for each hit. That's uh, the idea. 1d8 necrotic damage. Yes. 1d8. Okay. All right. I guess I'll be getting a lot of necrotic damage because this bitch is getting. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Let's, Let's go. go! I don't care. Woo! I mean, I'm, I'm gonna kick her ass. <laughs> what happened so, to Tarquin? Oh, now blew up damn. against the boss. Yeah, he's gonna punch him and then explode. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, okay, I'm gonna uh, attack then. Okay. Roll for. Attack. That's a beautiful, beautiful Ooh. 28 because it's a critical hit. Nice. Is that a dexterity check? Um, no, that's a hit. Okay, that, yeah, that would be a saving 20. throw. All right, yeah. I'll, I'll just check in. Uh, fuck yeah. So with a... <laughs> yep, that's a nat 20, so that is uh, full damage plus... Rolled damage yep. for your first hit. I really would, though, if possible. I would really like it if you could roll for me um, a little, uh, a little dexterity saving throw for me, please, and that will be a disadvantage. All right. Because she is going to cast harsh rebuke on you. That's a 23 and a 15. So I get 15. Okay. That's still gonna do 1d10 of fire damage. You motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That is... Uh, 8 points of fire damage. Alright. And... So many things, fucking hell. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. Got it. And how much? Oh, so that does. Uh, how much damage did that do? Sorry, or are we doing damage at the end? Uh, I already subtracted the eight points that I got. And now yes. I have to roll my damage against her. Gotcha. But I want to do nice. another attack. Yeah, absolutely. You will take... Uh, I will roll the 1d8 necrotic yeah. damage for you. I, I have to do again the dexterity uh, saving throw? Uh, no, just the once. Okay. She can only do Hellish Rebuke once. Unfortunately. <laughs> and that's a 23 to hit. I guess it hits. 23 hits. All right, so I'm going to do two normal hits and then the whole damage of the critical. I'm going to do the whole math. Okay. Let's do this. So it's 11 plus 10, 21. <laughs> oh my god, I, I, I completely fucked up. Let's use the blood dice for that. And that is seven that's, points that's, of that's, necrotic damage. That's 34 damage. Nice. Good hit. Uh, I'm sorry, you said eight points of fire damage and how many of necrotic Seven as well? Seven points of necrotic. Seven, all right. So that's... If that's just two attacks, yep. 
Gotcha. That's it. Um, oh wait. Uh, no, that doesn't count. Okay, over there. Just checking if there's anything else, because goddamn. Okay, that's cool. And I'm gonna use patience defense, and I'm gonna take the dodge action as a bonus action. Ooh, okay. And roll for me a constitution saving throw to see if you successfully re uh, avoid the blood curse. So you need a DC 16. Ooh. I got 14. Oh, so close. So you still have the curse active, unfortunately. Gotcha. Is that your turn? That is my turn. Oh, you really are mad, aren't you? You think I'm gonna back away? I wouldn't want you to. That would be no fun whatsoever, would it? <laughs> you got that right. We're gonna have some fun, you and I. Maybe me. Less so you. But you may as well have fun while you still have a conscience and a soul and a personality, because as soon as that band goes, you will not know who you are anymore. I'm willing to bet. Bring it um, on. Holy fuck. She... <laughs> she is going to... How much of a dick is she gonna be? Um, yeah, let's start mild. Um, she's gonna cast Fireball. Oh, nice. Um, you've seen her do it a couple times. So I need uh, everyone except Beefon because Beefon is behind her. I need everyone except Beefon to uh, roll for me a dexterity 15 saving throw, please. And that will be a disadvantage, please, Tarquin. Oh no. <laughs> She's a bitch. And I love her. <laughs> but I'm afraid of her. <laughs> but I love playing her, but I'm afraid of her. To get a 25. A disadvantage? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> and I got a 23. Hey, hey, nice. nice one. Okay. How everybody else doing? Not Seven. so good. 17 Ten. GG. 10. Okay, so everyone except to be Ludo. Well, b -Fong's not taking any fucking damage, but everyone <laughs> except Luto will be taking half damage. I haven't got enough d6s. That's, just roll, that's fine. Just roll the, what you got. And then Such a just shame. leave it there. <laughs> I'll roll them twice. Ugh. That's so many. Ugh. This is fine. It's only fifth level. Fifth level okay. fireball? Yeah. Ooh, two sixes. Um. 20, 21. 12. Okay. 12. 21. Not one, <laughs> not one. Come on. Ooh, that's not any sixes, but that's not anything lower than a three. <laughs> um, so 21, 31, 35, 39, <laughs> 43 damage to specifically Ludo. And we'll be nice and round it down to 21 damage for Camellia and Tarquin. If you have fire resistance, now is the time to remember that. Uh, Ludo's down. Cool. Wonderful. One shot. Um, nice. I'm proud of you. Is it? Um... <laughs> Oops. Everybody else still standing? Mm-hmm. Uh, I am, but I, the dodge action in, 
it has an influence in this. Oh, okay. So you'd get advantage? Yeah. Which levels it out to your first roll, which was still... All oh, right, so half. it's just that. So, yeah. Okay, okay. So it would still be... But good, good chow, good chow. Good, good catch. <laughs> Unfortunately, Damn. it does nothing, but it's right. a very good catch. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, I've just checked my resistances, and I should have taken less damage. That's okay. Um, okay, so can I do anything on my bonus action? Or... Uh... Oh, I guess that... It's your turn. Yeah. It's your turn. Oh, because you've been just casting a bunch of... Because I would have done something. You've been casting a bunch of spells, but I figured they were like counter spells to what other people were doing. No, so Sorry. gimmick... In it, you're good. So, um, yeah, Tarquin was like, come at me, bitch. Uh, and no, I'm not. Like... I, missed, I missed an opportunity to do something. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, if you... No. Well, it's your turn next, so it won't, won't be long. Um, um, too late now. Will, will not be long. Uh, it takes my own DA. Okay. Um, and then. Oh my god. Uh, no. She'll leave it at that. Um, yeah. She'll leave it at that. Or will she? Uh, nope. That's good. Okay. She's done. Dime, it is your turn. What would you like to do? I would like to leave the campaign because I've utterly failed my party. Oh, um, no! You haven't! Mm, I just surprised well, I'm a mage you slayer. with a boss fight. So. <laughs> oh, if you... Um, what does Mage Slayer do? Please remind I'm able Please to, remind. Um, I'm able to hit you with the melee attack when you cast a spell. Yeah, I'll allow it. Dude, I'll allow it. Because that's, like, she's done, she's doing that as it's your, the start of your turn. So, yeah, absolutely roll to hit. Um, does anything, uh, did any of the things that you cast require concentration, or are they just one, one-time spells, right? Uh, just a one-time for, oh. uh, yeah, for Fireball. And for... Ooh, I hit you for four. <laughs> Yay! Look, don't make me do the nice speech again. <laughs> or oh, every hit point counts, man. <laughs> How do you do it? <laughs> uh, no, nah, it's just it's just as bad as if I didn't call it out. But hey. No, you're all good. Just you're just like what? I'm glad I'm not in that fucking fire tornado. Oh, now's my chance. <laughs> 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 it's good shit. All right, but it is your turn. What would you like to do? Because that is a reaction. I I have no idea. To full... be honest. <laughs> <laughs> that is fair. That is very fair. And no clue what to do. Um... So we've got Ludo down. Camellia and Tarquin have just been nailed by a fireball and are still up. Uh, Kinry is still just next to uh, Gimmick. But currently seemingly managing to stave off whatever powers she gave him. I can only use one item per turn, right? Depends on the item. I might, I might, because uh, potions are a bonus action. Um, am I gonna let? I'm gonna summon Citra. Oh! Oh fuck! Another friend. I'm gonna actually make bingo cards for next week. So if you guys have ideas for what to put on the bingo cards, put them in the Discord because this is the second time DM has forgotten about a thing that she has given a player <laughs> and the player uses the <laughs> thing and is like, oh fuck! <laughs> okay, would you like to roll Citra's uh, initiative for her? Sure. Yeah, roll a d20 and then we'll add whatever her thing is when I find her. <gasps> 21. Oh 21, bro. Bro, 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 bro. Nice. G fucking G. Oh my god. Mm. Team Lummock now? Oh my god. <laughs> and I guess she I'll. Would uh, guess I'll just attack. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Roll to hit. 
Uh, 21 plus 3 is 24. Jesus Christ. 16. Yeah. 16. And nine. 16 hits. 9 does not hit, unfortunately, but the 16 just hits. Or 3. Wonderful. Yay. Hey, it, it does. <laughs> <laughs> don't make me say the thing <laughs> I, yeah no you can say it after we're all dead I will do um <laughs> that was that was gimmick talking for legal reasons uh, what do you say where uh, where do you summon Citra and what do you say to her as she appears and sees Ludo fucking dead on the ground <laughs> not dead but uh, incapacitated on the ground uh She's going to be behind Gimmick on the opposite side of me. I'm, Ooh. I'm basically... Flanking. I, yeah, so I want her away from the kid. <laughs> and when she okay. comes, I'm going to be like, we don't kill that one. <laughs> really, really kill that one. I'm sorry. Okay. You owe me. <laughs> I owe you? Uh, okay. You're right. Um, sure. Uh, and because you've summoned her, that's my mistake. I missed that, so I'll let you do it. Uh, please re-roll your attack rolls with advantage. Because you are technically flanking her now. Oh. Okay. So that's my bad. <laughs> so if you get nat 20s, <laughs> two nat 20s, we want them crit hits. Crit hits, crit hits. I'm like, kill my baby. Kill her. Oh, great. It's a nine again. Uh, <laughs> uh, and a 14. So now I've missed, I'm going to guess. Oh, that's all right. So it stays, Yay. It, stays, it stays as it was. No, no, totally no, no, no. It stays as no, it was because it's an advantage. Yeah. So you no, no, take no. the higher numbers, which means <laughs> that the one that hits still hits. So that's totally fine. Uh, sure. I got you. I got you, man. You ain't got to get nothing. I'm ready to die. Let's go. No. <laughs> Is there anything you would I'm like to say? I'm taking this bitch with me. <laughs> Is there anything you would like to say or do or talk or bonus action or anything that you can do? I said everything I need to say. This lady don't want to hear nothing but her own voice. Not, not inaccurate. All right. Um, sure. You know what? I did hit her in the teeth for three. Ooh. If that makes a difference. It, it does. <laughs> Did you just hit my fucking teeth? <laughs> Look, and she like moves her hand out the way, and she's just got really bloody gums. Uh, slightly more terrifying now, <laughs> but Sweet. seemingly, you know, bleeds. So that's a good sign. Um, <laughs> okay, uh, Yorv is um, is still entangled, so that's easy. Uh, Luna. <laughs> um, Please roll for us. God, we haven't done this in a while. Oh Please boy. roll for us. A death <sighs> saving throw. But if there is anything you would like to say to Daddy Esmic while you are down, you certainly can. Does that Daddy Esmic say anything to me? No. Oh, I think a one counts as two fails. <gasps> oh shit. Daddy Esmic would call. <laughs> 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 Daddy like, oh, like, yeah, he's like, he's just being dramatic. Oh, fuck. <laughs> My child. Oh. You cannot live a life eternal if your journey ends yet here. I got hit with the fireball. I can help for a price. What are you willing to give for your chance at life? I've already given you enough. My friends will save me. Or I'll die. And Umberlai will be okay.
The deal has not been fulfilled. Your death will only pass it down to her. What? That wasn't part of the arrangement. Make your choice. Make uh, it wisely. I'm not dying today. I believe in the breakfast club. Do you believe in me? Yes, of course, but I will not let you take more of me. She's already mad I gave you so much already. I would not take more of you. What do you want? What? Do you have faith? I have faith, yes. Roll a persuasion check for me, please. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, 15. Of course I believe in you. You're talking in my head. You have one success to your death saving throws. Okay. As well. Uh, it is now King Ray's turn. <laughs> DM, may I ask a question and make a statement? Yeah, of course. Uh, you're a pest. Um... <laughs> The question is, uh, I've rarely been in a situation. Could a potion get him up? Yes. Okay. Um, a potion, a medicine check. Uh, if you wanted to try something fully out the fucking blue, I'm open to it. Um, yeah, no, I was, uh, was yeah. kind of wondering if certain things are just too basic. The general rule of thumb is if you're drinking a potion yourself, it is one bonus action. If you're feeding someone a potion, it is an action. If you can find a way to fucking bonus action that shit into his mouth, then I will allow it. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, but whatever cool. way you see fit, yeah. And death again does not have to be the end i'm gonna use the Baldur's gate trick i'm gonna yeah from here on out, i'm gonna i'm gonna <laughs> tie a potion to the back of ludo so whenever he falls down it breaks <laughs> <laughs> oh my god the, the, the potion best. does heal him but the broken glass kills him more actually <laughs> <laughs> yeah you need it to happen simultaneously <laughs> the broken glass and the fool kill him and then it's the <laughs> yeah. Or just the, the health potion needs it's to be. Get your bingo cards ready, damage. folks. Oh, oh no. shit. Yeah, who had, okay. who, had, who had Ludo who had JC rolls a new character on their on their bingo card? <laughs> no, but there is a terrible plan perfectly executed and a terrible plan plan perfectly executed. And I think that could fall under either and or both <laughs> categories. So um yeah, there's a really fun bit in the if anyone's been to the forge in Boulder's Gate. Um, and you need to, like, squish the robot dude. If you just fucking stand on there with a big potion and then let him come to you and it will squish you, but you'll get healed by the potion and you won't die. It's great. Um, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I try I not that. to use it too much. It's, oh, it's fucking hilarious. I always um, do the uh, the owlbear jump at that fight. I, I've seen that. Mm. <laughs> you can also entirely uh, make Karlak strong enough to throw Shadow Heart as her primary weapon, and I highly recommend it. <laughs> um, for both moral and strength reasons. Um, anyway, so Kinry is going to roll. Kinry has failed one wolf check, and you see he, he starts to hunch over slightly more. <sighs> no. <sighs> And he is one step closer to heaven. No, to werewolf. Um, not good. Um, Vic is going to... Uh, he is going to try and close the gap between him and Camellia. He's still ten or so feet away, but he is behind you. And... Uh, we go back to the top of initiative 
but with Citra, and then same order as previously. So Camellia and Tarquin, you are on deck, followed eventually by Bifong. Uh, and Ludo, who's got so much to do. Uh, right, <laughs> Citra, where's she at? So, the big one with horns, right? Okay. Uh, hi. And she's just gonna <laughs> fucking... <laughs> 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 um, she is going to... Ooh. No. Um, Ooh. yeah, I'm gonna try that. She's gonna try using the Fist of Unbroken Air, um, which will cost her two of her key points. Let's pretend they named that after me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she is going to try with it to knock uh, Gimmick away and knock her prone. In theory! Ludo is down. He's not dead, but he is down. <gasps> the, uh, oh, I'm rolling the wrong thing. Okay. Um, z z z yeah, uh huh. Okay. Um, yeah. My bad. I can't read. Oh my god. She failed! She failed! Uh, three. Ooh! <laughs> Brother. Ooh. 3d10 damage. Uh. No fucking way! <laughs> I think mm -hmm. that's the first for me. Would you like to share with the rest of the class? Yeah, I, th I rolled uh, 3d10 for damage. I rolled three ones. <laughs> Good. Thanks, Citra. Um, she is gonna, you know, she's gonna use another key point to add another d10 just to see if we can fix that that's an eight we'll take that uh so that's <laughs> 11 points 11 points of bludgeoning damage um and you see as Etirin is pushed away towards you before um but not like insultingly gimmick? towards you yeah gimmick is pushed cool. to in your general direction for ease of access oh, sure. away from ludo for safety and is knocked prone. Oh. oh, fuck. So let me add that. I'll take away that 11 damage. <laughs> fuck, that cost an extra key point, but it was worth it. Yvonne stares she... at Camellia's dear feet. <laughs> <laughs> and she is then going to do a Tarquin and flurry of blows that bitch with advantage because she is prone <sighs> and now flanked. And she missed somehow. No, she didn't. I can't maths. Fucking add six. Yeah, no, that fucking hits. Boom. Um, <laughs> so that is uh, 1d6 plus three. Hacha. That is a six. Let's go. So that is an additional nine points of damage to a prone gimmick. Oh. And uh, she has a bonus action. No, that was the Flurry of Blows. Wait, so she can do another attack. Yeah, she'll do another attack. Oh. <laughs> Monks are stupid. Monks are <laughs> stupid. The fuck? <laughs> fuck Darian, why do you choose Monk? <laughs> was it for this reason? <laughs> was it for this very reason? Uh, All that part misses, of the plan. So. Yeah. Oh, no, wait, it's an advantage. Um, that hits. <laughs> And then we're gonna do another one of these. That is okay. And that is another eight points of bludgeoning damage, but I forgot she is actually resistant to bludgeoning damage. So 11 add eight, add nine. So what you're saying is I've only done five damage to her. <laughs> no, I total. missed it. So it, So you did more to her than that. Because that was a me, me forgetting. Uh, so that's yeah. So that'll be is that like ten points of damage in total? Okay. Okay, maths. Okay, kill. Cool. Uh, and Citra is gonna back the fuck away, but 
not too far, just a, just a little bit, but you're still technically flanking her, and Gimmick is still technically prone. Camellia! You see as um, Gimmick has kind of come towards you slightly more. You also have Vic coming towards you from behind. Vic Wolf. Um, Gimmick is prone, not too far away from you. Ludo is down. What would you like to do? I would like to longbow Vic. Ooh, let's go! You could call your mom. Nope. <laughs> mom, come home. Thirteen? Thirteen? Unfortunately misses. Ah. I am afraid. By one. By fucking Is there anything else you can do, my friend? Pain of Ranger. Uh... Dagger. Fuck yeah. Throw dagger. <laughs> Throw dagger. Do it. Eat. <laughs> there is only one option. Fifteen. That hits. Oh, that hits. <laughs> Let's go. Roll for damage. Yeet knife! Whoop. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeet. Uh. Four. Fuck yes! Don't don't be sighing at your fours and shit. I'm gonna fight any of y'all who do damage and are like, ugh. Like, <laughs> we're gonna fight you. Thank you, Raiders! Hello, Raiders! You're not, your name isn't Crow, but welcome. But you get a crow anyway. A crow flies overhead! Ah! <laughs> I should just do different birds every time. Um... Uh, friends flies overhead and is there. <laughs> okay. Uh, is that your turn, Camellia? Uh, can I is remove the bracelet from Winnie's person? Fwog? To make her big? I'll allow it. Yay. <laughs> Let's go! I choose you! Winnie! You see, you see as a uh, the little the little Winnie who's just been rolling along at the side of the battle just just as soon as the bracelet turns off just just like one of those like instantly inflating life rafts just and just big frog, um, awesome. <laughs> And on your next turn, you can officially summon her into battle. Um, <laughs> officially. But yes! Ah, did you? Did you roll an advantage? Ooh, I didn't. Uh, that was for Vic. Vic isn't flanked. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately. Or entangled. Yeah. Sorry. Don't worry. I checked. I, no, good, good shout. Good shout. Keep checking on stuff like that, because I do forget. So, thank you for being alert. Oh, I, yeah, I forget. <laughs> me, me, also. <laughs> but yes, is that your turn? E. Because I can, I can hear, I can hear Tarquin gritting his teeth, ready to just <laughs> do more to this lady. <laughs> what are we doing, Tarquin? I would, but I'm kind of screwed. If I hit her and I take more damage, I'm gonna go down. So. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. What I can do is. Use wholeness of body and heal myself. Oh! How do how does that manifest? How does that look as a monk? Healing. It looks like I close my eyes, gather my hands in front of my chest, and say, "I'm gonna heal myself, and then I'm gonna fuck you up again." <laughs> I'd like to see you try. She's just she's just like she's prone, but she's laying like draw me like one of your French girls. <laughs> she took it literally, I think. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, that's the, the the action, so I can't really do much. What are you gonna hit a lady while she's down in front of a child? What kind of message does that put out there? Is that something you did as a hero? Oh wait, <laughs> that's not really you. And you know it. Get Deep up. Down inside, you know it. And you just can't accept it. 
Because without them, you are nothing, Tarquin. <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. <sighs> no, of course I don't, which is why I want that bracelet so bad. I will break it before giving it to you. Mm, that works for me, too. The less powerful you are, the easier you are to crush. Not crush on. I'm not like those other hollow bitches. I'm not particularly interested in that kind of relationship. So come on, what are you waiting for? Just what? Don't worry. You will be silent soon. I'm waiting. Okay, I'm gonna heal myself and wait for the next turn. Hopefully I'm still alive. Oh, she's... If she could cast Vicious Mockery as a bonus action right now, she <laughs> fucking would. Woo! Uh, okay. Jeez. So, how much do you heal for? 18. No, damn, nice! Well, that's gonna be pretty fruitless. So she uses... Off her movement to get up. Come on, Kenry. The crowds are waiting. Just a little bit more wolf come out, yeah? <sighs> right. Let's see. Do I kill your friend or do I try and rip your arm from its socket? Hmm. Oh, you can also roll a constitution saving throw to see if the curse is lifted, by the way, Tarquin. Oh, yes, uh, thank you. I almost forgot again. <laughs> That's uh, 16. 16 just succeeds. Fucking GG. You feel nice. your body return to normal and you feel strong and violent once again. Um... Oh, well, I guess if he's not going to turn into a fucking monster. And you see as she kind of elongates her neck as she stands up, stretches out. And you hear just an unholy amount of clicking from her neck, just... As she does. I... And as she puts her hands down, just slightly... Her hands lengthen, her claws grow, not dissimilar at all to the form of the other wolves, but just still very much humanoid, very controlled, very specific. But you do see her lengthen slightly and take on some of the colorations of these wolves as her horns twist further and her fangs grow and her eyes dim to a very washed out hollow just heartless deep grey Slara and Iris and all <sighs> better finish the job quickly and she is going to make two attacks on Tarquin you know, when you asked me, when you asked us uh, how, um, what famous person is playing gimmick, I just started picturing her as Lunette from Big Comfy Couch, so this is very weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I haven't quite found a, a match for her. Um, actually, no, I lie. Uh, you at one point in time were like, where does Parker Posey fit in? <laughs> uh, she could make a fucking incredible uh, gimmick, I feel like. Um, okay. So the first hit is going to do... Um, oh, shit! Uh, 12 points of... Uh, is of this direct damage? Damage. Yep. So no armor class? What do you mean? I mean, she doesn't fail. Oh, uh, sorry. Um, does a uh, <laughs> does a twenty six hit? Oh, of course. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sorry. I should have checked. You're you're right. Thank you. Um, yes. Uh, <laughs> so eleven points of damage for the first hit. My apologies. Um, was my fault. 
And then she's going in for the second. I'm gonna intercept the hardest hit. Ooh, okay. Um, the next hit mm. is a 23 to hit. Yes, it does. And that is significantly less damage. So if you want to intercept the first hit, Bifon, you can. Oh, are you f Oh, wait, what? Oh, that's 10. <laughs> It's like, why is there a zero there? Uh, so that's, I can reduce it by 13. Uh, do you want to take the whole damage for the first hit? Because it was about? only 11 damage, the first hit. Whatever the largest hit is. Yeah, that will be the largest hit. Okay. In terms of direct hit damage. Yeah. Um, it's a melee yes. attack, right? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. So you take 11 cool. points of damage away from that. Um, Tarquin, you take uh, eight points of damage on the second hit. All right. And um, mm, I see you've beaten the curse. <laughs> That's no fun. And as she is clawing your arm the second time, um, she scratches the curse back into your skin. So I will need... I got... Um... No, that's, that's, that's just kind of on until um, your turn. Yeah. Fuck. So the curse is back! Yay! Um, and then, can she do anything else? Well, what does that do? I don't think I can do that. Oh! I forgot about that, but I'll do that next time. Okay. Um. That's gonna be her turn. Uh. Bifon, it is your turn. What would you like to do? Um, with leave Tarquin there, this fight. <laughs> <laughs> with Tarquin there, you can flank her. Uh oh no, because I yeah I forgot that the shot was on somebody else. I remember she was on the ground. Um, <clears throat> is is the cat bag a bonus action, or does that have to be an action? That is a good question. Yeah, we've never discussed that because yeah. uh, I've both myself and um, and the uh, <laughs> um, my brain. Yeah, it's always been used. Lower. It's it's it, people have all have always done a move during the same <laughs> turn. So I accidentally just googled sack of catnaps and it came up with someone uh, trying to train a catnapper. Um, <laughs> just, just casual internet things. Um, <laughs> so I would I'm gonna say use... for now it's a bonus action. Yeah, because I can't be asked to look, if I'm honest. I'm so. going to use my action <laughs> um, you, to feed a potion to Luto. Nice. That's the sound of the potion. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to use the bonus action to Ooh. summon cat. Nice! Okay, Ooh, what cat are we getting today? Do you have the Do you have the list handy? I never have the mm -hmm. list handy. I'm a terrible. Yeah. Person. I have okay, it. <laughs> roll, roll for cat. <laughs> big Let's cat, see. big cat, big cat. Got a two, which is a panther. Ooh! So the panther will go after you on your turn, and you can tell it what to do. Um. I will see if I can find the panther character sheet for you. Unless you find it. I got it. Wall. You found yeah. a pasta wall. That's a wall. Nice. Okay. You have panther. And where would you... Um, you can throw the panther... Not literally throw the panther. You can throw the cat food for that summons the panther uh, back in the direction of gimmick. Or you can summon it closer. It is up to you. Wherever you toss the piece of food is where the cat is summoned. I'm... 
<laughs> Pretty much thought I was in the same place now. Uh, so yeah. Ludo, just, uh... Ludo's kind of 20 or so feet away from... Uh, 20, 25 feet away from where it came Oh, then I'm going to drop I'm that shit right on the ground because the panther's going to take my spot when I get Ludo up. <laughs> okay, sweet. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> haven't practiced my panther noises in a while. Mm. Sound like a baby panther. <laughs> yeah, it is right. a potion of healing. So whatever amount that is to Ludo. Um, it should tell you on the item itself what you need to roll for that. If you click on it, but if not, I will go fast and see how much it is, unless anyone knows off the top of their memory. Yeah, please, because, like, my shit, it hits the edge, and then I can't see what it says there. <laughs> uh, potion of healing. It says something plus two hit points. <laughs> 2d4 plus two. 2d4 plus two. Okay, yeah. So roll 2d4. Or I can roll 2d4 if it's easier. Um, oh, you? I do. You do? Nice. Do do. I got so many d6s out because of the fucking. <laughs> Are you <laughs> fucking kidding? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so you heal him by four, but that's enough to get him up. So that's, that's the main thing. Hey, I'm back up. Ludo yes. blinking, blinking. The, the the sun out of your eyes, you awake to see Bifon just, I imagine, just shoving the, <laughs> decorking the potion and just, <laughs> boom, and just, <laughs> gloop, 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 gloop. <laughs> hey, thanks, Bifon. No problem. Wow. Tarquin just looking at a panther, panther looking at Tarquin, did a little head nod. <laughs> scratch that bitch. Scratch her. <laughs> Careful, I scratch back. All right. It is the panther's turn. What would you like the panther to do? Mm. Mm. Shit, lost the page. Uh. Boom. Just, um, wow. attack. Alright. Would you like to so, roll for painful? Yes, that is... It does not say here. Um, oh, there it is. Yeah. Mm, go for a She's bite. just hide all the stats everywhere. Yeah, it's not where it is on some <laughs> other sheets. <laughs> yep. Mm, plus four, so I'm guessing I'm rolling a 20 with a plus four on top. Yep. That'll be the one. Mm-hmm. One at the one in. So that is 10 to hit. Does ten, it hit? Unfortunate. Well, I mean, it... it you know what? It it hits, but it doesn't really do anything, <laughs> and Gimmick seems to enjoy it more than anything. Uh, Ooh, kitty cat after my own heart. <laughs> I like your pet. Can I have? Thanks. Him? No. Hmm. Boo. Okay, it is Yorv's turn. Can he detangle? Fuck no! It is Ludo's turn! <laughs> what would you like to do? Alright, so Ludo uh, gets back up. Uh, where, yeah. is, where is Kinry right now? What's Kinry's status? Uh, Kinry is... Um, he's kind of separate from everyone, so you're kind of over to the left side of things with uh, Bifon. Over to the right side of things, uh, you've got uh, Citra, Tarquit... Citra's fucking here, what? Uh, Citra, <laughs> Tarquin, <laughs> a panther, and <laughs> and Camellia slightly further back with a wolf at her ass. Um, seemingly not really doing much damage currently. Uh, Kinry is kind of in the middle uh, between the two kind of sides of things. Um, slightly, slightly wolfier than last time you saw him and, and really trying to stave off whatever is happening in his mind 
Okay, awesome. Uh, I would, uh, Ludo gets up, uh, looks around, assesses the situation, runs over to Kinry, casts silence around them, and, uh, mm -hmm. puts his arm around him, like, hugs him, and, uh, tries to, tries to talk to him through mind meld communication. <laughs> because silence, right? So I can't talk. Y yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... Roll... Roll... Mm, high or low? <laughs> uh, Where's the chaos dice? High or low? Let's do uh, low for Luto. Okay. <laughs> I can't say hi now. You can say so hello. I know. <laughs> you lucky son of a bitch. Um, okay. Um, you kind of mentally are like, it's me, I want to mind who the child. Um, and just cut you. If you could hear it as a sigh, now would be the time you would hear it. Um, <laughs> but you do, you do kind of get through, and you're greeted with just this cacophony of voice, like the voices of the other villagers, his own voice, just all these self doubts, gimmicks, voice laced, and just saying, "Just let go. It'll be so much easier." Let the powers take over. And you hear that voice just slowly getting louder and louder than all these other positive memories that are in his head. Henry. You mind melt, you're like immediately in it. All right. So yeah, I'm gonna just the Kinry. You have to fight. You're stronger than this Kinry. You can do this. Just kind of persuade him. What do I do? What do I do? Do I turn? Do I want to? I just want to protect them. And you can, you can protect them. You can protect all of them, but you have to stay yourself. You don't need no. other powers. You don't need to accept powers from an outside third party. Believe me, I've tried that. You can do it yourself. Roll two persuasion checks for me, please. One of them <laughs> will be a disadvantage. <laughs> um, These are for two different people, if you couldn't tell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the Kinry roll. Oh, the Kinry roll is an eight. Shit. Mm -hmm. And the disadvantage roll. <laughs> is a nine beautiful it is higher um yeah you, you the connection does just about stay um but you do hear in kinry's mind you're right i can protect them if i just use my powers maybe i can keep them safe Omi, Omi needs you kinry doesn't need your powers, doesn't need what you're going to become. No, Tommy needs you. Your mother needs you. But if they have me, I can't protect them and they could die. And there'll be nothing to be normal to, no one to be normal with. You can protect them if you become strong. You don't need powers for that. I'll teach you how to become strong. We'll teach you. Roll one more persuasion check for me, please. Oh, you mean this nat 20 I'm about to roll? Is that the one you want me to roll? This nat 20. Okay, oh, close. Oh, shit, that one? Close, cool. though. Close, though. Oh. 20, 23 total. You will? Yeah. We're the breakfast club. We're the winners of the hunt in Ash Sky. We can teach you. But you got to do it yourself. You hear all the voices in his head return to the family, the gimmick one being drowned out more and more, replaced with your voice going, we'll train you, we are the breakfast club. And then just his mom like, I made pancakes and all of this stuff. And just all this nostalgia Aww. and heart and love. I know now, without a doubt, Kingdom <laughs> Heart <laughs> is light. It's light. <laughs> <laughs> If I had some on deck, 
I mean, it's still the Okushima Mora, so we're not too far. Um, nerds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a bunch of nerds yeah. playing D&D or something. I don't know. Ew. <laughs> Fucking ew. Ew. Um, but yes, uh, with that, you feel the connection sever as he thanks you. I'll run. Be careful. You need to train me. Of course. So gotta stay okay. Just taking on kids, second kid. A bird of frog, <laughs> two kids. So <laughs> many. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And with that, um, this connection severs. Um, I will allow you your bonus action and movement, should you still wish to use them. Uh, bonus action. I'm gonna heal myself using some Esimic points. Oh, nice! Some Esimic, Esimic balls, some little Esimic uh, Healy balls. <laughs> mm, best kind of Healy balls. Uh, let's go ahead and use a full. <laughs> use four d six. Hmm. Strong heal. Oh, nice! I heal for sixteen. Nice, GG. What relief. Okay. Damn it, I really don't have any Kingdom Hearts in here. Actually, kind of sad. <laughs> um, where is it? Um, before okay. uh, before I leave that space, I say, Esamik, thank you. For what? You helped me save that kid. That was all you're doing. Feels good being a good guy, that's all I'm saying. And then I leave. <laughs> you feel a kick up your ass on the way out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, is this, is this going to work? Or is this not going to work? I'm just going to suck if it doesn't work. I just, I just want to go on record as saying uh, Sanctuary is better than Simple and Clean. I don't know the words. <laughs> I am open to fights if you would uh, like I to like... meet me in this boxing ring later. Both good. Look, they they good. I'm 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 keeping both of them in my heart. I was out of scale, you know. Okay. It's one sanctuary. Oh, I gotta look it up. My sanctuary, my sanctuary. Oh, that's the one that gets sings backwards. Never surf, never fin, surf and death. Yeah. <laughs> it's like backwards. <laughs> one, one without a skill, we give up. <laughs> one without a skill, we give up. Okay. With that, it is Kinry's turn, and he's going to get advantage on his save roll. He could still turn, which is really unfortunate, but he's got oh, advantage. No. He got it 18. He'll be fine. All right. right. You see him taking control back of his body. No! I won't do this! And then just kind of realize there's like a really big fight going on. It's like, oh, um. Ah, and just kind of runs back to like out of the way. I give him a uh, guy sensei thumbs up from within he the just, silence. He just nods. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a, a silently swears in the silence until he gets out of it. Um, wonderful stuff. All right, with that, it is Vic's turn. And he is going to try and bite Camellia. No, don't do that. Um, no. Kind of does a, does does a fourteen hit? Nope. Cool, cringe, cringe. It does does a nine hit? <laughs> uh, close. No. Damn it. Okay, it is Citrus' turn. We return to the beginning of uh order, and this music isn't ominous enough. This music isn't ominous enough. This music isn't ominous enough. Okay, oh, no, so we've got okay. 
Citra, Camellia, Tarquin, Gimmick, Beefalm, Panther, Yorv, Ludo, Kinre, Vic. You guys just made my little magic trick run away. Ooh, now I really am mad. How was death, Ludo? Do you enjoy it? in this fair silence. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> ah, probably better that way. Maybe Umberly would prefer it if you had that silence on full time. Oh. <laughs> She's reading. She's reading. Um, with that... Uh... Yeah, sure. Uh, Citra... Is gonna use burning hands on the mean lady. The mean lady unfortunately made the roll and is resistant to fire, so it does that like halve it twice? I, I don't know. <laughs> um oh that's a lot of ones again. <laughs> so um that's yeah, okay, that's like Two damage. Hey, it's two damage, though. I'm not gonna do it job, to myself, Citra. neither. <laughs> She's resistant to fire? Fuck. Fuck. Um... She can't really do much else. She'll, she'll do another. Um... She'll, she'll hit her one more time. And I will remember her resistance to bludgeoning damage. Well, it doesn't matter, because she rolled a 4, so that's not hidden. Alright, Camellia, it is your turn. Tarquin on deck, and then Gimmick, and then Bifon. If you live, Citra, and enjoy your money. <laughs> I I will try. What do you mean, if we live? You really pulled me into some shit, huh? She's smiling, but <laughs> she's like... <laughs> So, Camellia, what would you like to do? How close is Yorv? Uh, Yorv is still entangled in the forest exactly or, uh, where you left him. Who is Vic the one? Vic is, like, Vic. right behind you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Ram Vic. Ooh! <laughs> roll, the, roll the ram! <laughs> you did take the spell of silence because of Umber Life. Wow. Wow. A 13 does not hit, I'm afraid. <laughs> so close. I mean, you're both missing each other. So, you know, at least it's neutral neutral ground. <laughs> uh, is there anything else you can do? I'll you try do to hit him. the jump. You do have the jump. Oh, uh, what is technically the... technically an attack. What does the jump do? Um, if I remember correctly... You have a thing where your jumps naturally do damage if you land on something. And jumping is technically movement rather than an action, I believe. I forget. I know we I know we found it in your session zero and we're like, that's that seems incredibly exploitable. <laughs> Camellia has a Super Mario move? That's awesome. Oh, is Pretty it uh, Mirthful Leap? Yeah. I'll try that out. Oh shit. What do, do I need to uh, roll a save for it? Whenever you take a long jump or a high jump, you can roll a d8 and add the number roll to the number of feet you cover. Even when making a standing jump, this extra distance costs movement as normal. It doesn't look like... Oh, it does cost But if me. you jump high enough, mm -hmm. you would start to do damage from the full. And I would allow that to not do damage if he landed on someone. I think. Kamaria. <laughs> It, it, is, it is up to you. It is up to you. We do not have to. Oh no, it's going to change the song. No, do not be there. <laughs> no, keep no. the song. Oh my <laughs> god. The fucking Chocobo theme, no. <laughs> not the Chocobo <laughs> theme specifically. <laughs> Rip. Yeah, it's up to you, my friend. I'll try it next time and then try to get him with my hand axe. Ooh, all right. 
And that's not Dark Queen. It is your turn. I can give me an on deck. All beef right. On deck. Beef on on stairs. Sorry. <laughs> Seventeen. Oh. Oh. That hits. Woo. Rolling. I didn't damage. realize you were doing another thing. My apologies. Do it. Do it. Do it. Hell yeah! <laughs> ever, ever. <laughs> now you've almost killed uh, Gimmick. We will swap to Tarquin. <laughs> All right, what's going on, Tarquin? You have the curse once again. Yep, I'm gonna Which roll Constitution, fine. right? Um, it will be the end of your turn for Constitution, unfortunately. Oh. I know. It's so a I'm really. She's a, she's every a bitch. Time. She's a bitch. I'm, I'm sorry, she's a bitch. Well, there's not much I can do. I guess I'm just gonna attack her and Let's see if I survive. Fucking go! <laughs> oh my god. Uh. I'd say attach a potion to your fists, but that would also heal her. <laughs> <gasps> That's uh, dirty 20. Oh, I was like, is that natural? That hit. No, that no. fucking hits, though. That does. That does fucking hits. Uh, that's seven points of damage. <laughs> nice. And I have to roll dexterity, right, to save you. Throw? Already or knew. Um, you do have to, yeah, because she will hellish rebuke you. So, mm. yeah. Shit. <laughs> You challenge uh, a bitch to a duel. She's coming. She's coming. Yeah, at she's you. like it's twice my level, I guess, because that's terrible. Yeah, not far off. Okay, how much damage do I take? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Okay, let's see. Um, that is gonna be. Oh Jesus. Two uh, D ten. Two D ten. Oh my god! I thought it was one. Uh, we got a high and a low. Oh my god! So, well, because that's because you succeeded the save last time, but you failed. Uh, you failed the save this time. So. Oh, miscalculation. Um, she got one high and one low, so she got a one and a ten. So that is eleven points of oh my god. fire damage. I'm gonna die. No, with that attitude. Yo. Yeah. No. No, with, with that, that attitude. <laughs> with that attitude. <laughs> okay, I hit her for seven points and I take eleven. Nice. Brilliant. Hey yo. Doing the do. And it would hit her for three because she is technically resistant to bludgeoning damage and I forgot that initially. We never stood a chance against her. It's never too late to run! Running is a valid option. Uh, okay. TPK is also a valid option. Fuck that, we I'm don't not run. Saying, I'm not, I'm not saying that as like run. a bitch move. There are, there, it's not not the be all end all. Only thing that runs in the breakfast club is syrup down the side of our pancakes. Hey, yo, pancakes. <laughs> I love how you said that like you were going to say butt cheeks and then just went, pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> my neck, my back, my pussy, and my pancakes. <laughs> All right, I don't think I can do much, and I could use another patient defense. If I don't have to roll for damage again <laughs> for using it, mm. um, I don't know. Yeah, you wouldn't have or... to because it's not a it's not a physical hit, is it? Right, but since I'm like uh, cursed. Um. Well, you'd get to roll the con save at the end of your turn anyway. Uh -huh. So if you had dodge, it it wouldn't. Um, <laughs> I'm reading up on dodge. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, it just it just uh, you make dexterity saving throws with advantage, so it would cancel out any disadvantage on dexterity saving throws. 
uh, and it would still impose disadvantage on attack rolls made against you. Mm -hmm. Just in case. And yeah, and doing it wouldn't cost you anything or any damage, right. so you may as well. Yeah. All right, that's my, in my bonus professional action. opinion. <laughs> not not in gimmick's opinion. Gimmick would be like, mm -hmm. no, don't do that. <laughs> that's annoying. And you can roll your Constitution save as well to yeah. see if you. Let's see. Make the check. Let's go. Yeah, that's a dirty twenty. Woo! Let's go. Sweet. I think she can. I don't know how many more times she can cast that curse. Neither. That's a good time to succeed on it. I mean, I made. I'm at two HP, so she just <gasps> spits on me and I'm dead. So. <laughs> well, it's funny you say that because there is a nice little zone that uh, has. Camellia has Tarquin. Oh my god. Yeah, it has Vic, but who the fuck cares? It has this other bitch that's here now, Citra, and it has a panther in it, so. I think, uh, I think we're gonna crack out a little spell for this one. What spell can we use? Uh, third level fireball, fourth level fireball, fifth level fireball, sixth level fireball? Hmm. Might need to use it later. I'm gonna use a fourth level fireball, I think. So I need a dexterity save of 15 from everyone, please, including the panther. Uh, everyone except, sorry, Beefon and Luto. So the panther needs to roll, Tarquin and Chameleon need to roll, and Citra will also need to roll. Yeah, I mean, rolling. Roll uh, dexterity saving throw. Cool. Rolling against this halves the damage, right? Um, yes. You, you can't the dodge throw. it. If you succeed the save, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll address that when we get to it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, just, um, roll an advantage. What am I saying? Just fucking roll an advantage. That makes way more sense. Yeah. Roll at advantage. So, how would I roll for the panther? Um, so roll a d20 and then add it whatever its dexterity modifier is. Ah, the modifier, gotcha. Yeah. Ooh. Citra and Vic have failed. Panther has rolled a six. Panther has failed. How much health does Panther have? Uh, Panther has, uh, 13 hit points. <laughs> no. Statistically, it's possible to su su to survive. You know, you have to think. Your uh, Uncle Jing Jong, he survived a fireball with four HP. So, you know, it's, it's possible. Does eighteen work? Eighteen does succeed. And I'll right. say roll another one, just a straight dexterity check to see if we can halve it again. Because you are Century. dodging. Okay. It is AoE, but it is, you know, might be able to really nerf the damage because you are dodging. I think that's fair. I'm oh, sure. that's an eight. Okay, so you do half the damage. You do half so the it damage. hits for one HP? Because if not, I'm dead. Let's find out! <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Oh, that's not enough. Hang on. That's not enough T6s. Do I have enough this time? I might have enough, actually. Yay! Ooh, that's a lot of tools! Oh no. There's not that many tools. Okay. Quick maths. I got two pairs. Three pairs, though. Uh, mm -hmm. Two. How many is that? One, two, three. Okay, that is 24 points of fire damage to anyone who failed, and 12 points of fire damage to anyone who succeeded. I got a 21. That's a success. Uh, 15 is the DC. So 24 if you've got uh, lower than a 16... 15, sorry. 15? 
Yeah, 15. <laughs> 20, 24 if you got lower than a 16. Uh, 12 if you got higher than a 16. I'm dead. Okay, Tarquin is down. Uh, Vic is also down. Vic is <laughs> toasted into uh, wolf. Very, actually, Ludo smells really nice of, like, char-grilled meat. I the didn't see any clothes on that so wolf. Good. No clothes. <laughs> no clothes. <laughs> No clothes on that wall. Um, does he revert back to human form? He does, yes. Okay. Scorched, naked, dead human. <laughs> but still beautifully char-grilled, arguably. Uh, how much else did the panther have time? Hmm? How much else did you say Mr. Panther had? Past tense. <laughs> Past yes. tense. <laughs> 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 Why are you asking me if it had 13? Oh, just so I can... Okay, okay, so they've got one hit point left. Not down. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, no, do they, or did they succeed the dexterity? Oh, they didn't succeed. Oh, oh yeah, no, they're... Yeah, no, they're gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> they're okay, they're a spiritual panther. They're not... They're not gonna get I know, I don't want to lose them, but it's all good. They wake up screaming next to their panther partner. <laughs> <laughs> Another nightmare? <laughs> yeah, babe. That was really scary this time. Um... <laughs> okay, and Citra is just about still alive. But Tarquin is darn. Um, and Gimmick... Who... Uh, I have a rather gruesome question, Tarquin. Uh, can I just roll my attack, by the way? <laughs> Are you next to Gimmick? Uh, probably not Oh, how not close do you have anymore. to be? No, no, no. No, because okay. I stepped away to heal Ludo. Yeah, no worries. I just wanted to double check. Um... Yeah. Yeah, uh, I forget if we covered this, Darian, but how comfortable are you with dismemberment? Oh, boy. I'm fine with it. Okay. How does Tarquin um... feel about it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think uh... he's going to like it very much. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um... Yeah. Um, she's also going to restore some health points because of her lichen regeneration. Um, it's only two hit points. Um, and she is going to use her hybrid form predatory strike to make a strength check to try and, uh, just pull off Tarquin's arm. If ever I wanted you to roll a one. Um, I am afraid, JC, that that is a 26. Hmm. Well, I did request, and you said no, that's fine, but just... I did try. You know, I did try. 3.33, August 21st, you know, I'll remember it. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um... So is this, um, this is a spell and an action? It is they, Are action. they both actions? Um, the spell, uh, so she gets uh, a bonus action for her hybrid form predatory strike. The spell is an action. Okay. She would get two attacks if it was just regular So attacks. once she does this, she's done, right? Yeah. She'll only have her movement okay. left. Just want to know because I'm next. No worries. You are next. She'll escape and we won't be able to do anything. Is that an Onomichiwa emote? Not anyway, before sorry. I, I eat your arm, I mean save Tarquin's your arm. Uh, I was doing Tarquin's arm, that's right. Um, <laughs> thankfully, Tarquin, you are incapacitated. <gasps> Maka! I know, where there. did you get on the media? Oh no, Tarquin's gonna be down in the Oh arm. no! <laughs> um, she is going to just sever this sheet. from just kind of under the shoulder. Um, you see so her she bend. Succeeds. With a 26, she does, yeah. Okay. Um, in her hybrid form, where her strength is uh, mm -hmm. exacerbated. 
you see that she kneels down, makes eye contact with you all. Oh, I guess I can just take this and be on my way. Good fight, though. Really fun. And she's just gonna dig the claws just, like, up into the shoulder socket and kind of a mix between dislocate the arm and just rip it out at the same time. Just... And you just see... Tarquin, Tarquin, you take uh, one death save automatically. You lose one death save automatically. And she takes Tarquin's arm and um, is going to begin to move away. Um, how fast do you guys go? Uh, not to worry, I, I should be able to make my way faster. I'll see you later. Bye. And she'll begin to run um, towards the forest on that right side of the clearing, kind of looking at it from the direction that you came into it. And she's going to run 45 feet in that direction. And that is going to be her turn. Be fun. I love it when games tell me that I'm not supposed to win a fight to begin with. <laughs> I've tried it a few times. 45 every time exactly, I've right? 45 exactly. 45 exactly. Right? 45 exactly. You're a pest. You're a pest. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> God. It is literally, as I live and breathe, 45 foot of speed. As I live and breathe. <laughs> She is a bitch. They're, okay, they're so the, so everybody's fine, be... except I mean, Vim. I'm fine. I don't know what fuck his name is. I mean... Okay, <laughs> cool. Everyone's up. Well, no, I time. had a plan for I had a plan for both you and her, but oh. this 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 decided to be a thing. Okay, fine. So I'm gonna dash after you, okay. and <laughs> I'm gonna yeet my warhammer. Yes. Let's go. At Tarquin's arm. Oh, you're trying to disarm, literally disarm. Uh. <laughs> mm -hmm. So do I have to roll an attack for that? Or is that just simply an action that's going to either knock that shit out or not? Uh, Tell me for... now, DM. Because I want to yeah. fight you so bad right now. I want to fight <laughs> you specifically, Keith. Redirected to gimmick. <laughs> I am here playing with my friends. Gimmick is a bitch. I acknowledge. But your feelings are valid. Um... <laughs> so is this going to have to be an attack roll? So it will be an attack roll, as you would for any uh, hammer yeeting. Uh, for a more focused attack, uh, generally with, like, uh purpose of disarmament or tripping or any other kind i say um roll at disadvantage and if you make the roll you achieve both things um yeah so it is a harder roll but you get unequivocal chance to do the thing um or you can roll just normally without disadvantage but it will only happen if you get a natural 20. i don't so understand what you just said valid so <laughs> you can got two choices um yeah to attempt the disarming in all mm -hmm. manners of the term <laughs> you can uh roll normally and hope for a d20 mm -hmm. um as you will need a natural 20 um at the very least for um such a specific roll uh or you can roll at a disadvantage, but if you hit her at all with disadvantage, then you achieve both the hit and the disarmament. Okay, I'll take the disadvantage. Uh, what's disadvantage again? Okay. I, uh, so take roll the lowest twice and roll or take some the shit? lower number, and you need a cool. 16 or higher. Sweet. Let's fucking go. Oh, come on! Um, um. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Am I rolling on my attack roll or just a d20? Yes, on your attack roll, yeah. On your attack roll. Oh, on my attack. Okay, sorry about that. That's okay. Oh, my God. Come on, nat 20. Ugh. Okay. Cool. 
none of them hit. So, I'm going to second win. Yep. Uh, not second win. Action surge. Thank you. Oh my god. You got this. You got this. Oh, well, that one's already 14, which I'm guessing is oh. a miss. Not quite, yeah. Right? Because this one's 24. Yeah. Oh, it's such a fucking shame! No, 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 don't act like, no, no, no. It fuck is, off. it is! Fuck off, no, fuck off, fuck off. <laughs> don't act like you Sorry. fucking give a shit. 45 exactly! It is, 45 I'm exactly. Because I would have had another move, but you moved too far away from me. So fuck you. I'm, I'm, that's <laughs> and valid. you did, like, eight fucking, you did eight fucking things in one turn. <laughs> I told you, we can't do anything. <laughs> she's she's incredibly powerful. She's incredibly yeah. powerful. This I is... had such a fucking beautiful idea. I know. Oh. I know. I'm, this is the dark Stinks. side. This no. is the dark you side took of away our, No, you took away RP from me. I don't care about who dies, who lives. You <laughs> no. took away roleplay from me, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I love you, man. I'd say no bad feelings, but this is currently a shit situation and the character is a bitch, so I fully understand. Yeah, I'm uh, still yeah. running. I hope you guys got a handle on that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. It's so I'm fucking still close. Still determined to catch this lady. Alright, so Beefon's just full speed fucking dashing. Alright. Full speed um, fucking. Spool, <laughs> spool feed ducking. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Yorv is gonna roll. Yorv is especially entangled because he just got a natural one uh, he's just, he just gives up he's just lying in the entangled bushes and just stays there now uh ludo it is your turn what are we doing all right uh looking around ludo's gonna cast mass healing word he's gonna nice. heal the four of us plus vic for plus vic or citra the one oh actually i can do six so yes uh, citra and vic Oh, Vic's dead, so... I thought he just went down. You're right. My bad. All right. Got to roll uh, saving throws. <laughs> well, it's only been... It's the same turn, right? It's the same, like, six seconds? Anyway, yes. Uh, I heal right. all of us, My the bad. four of us, Citra and Vic, for seven. Nice. Who? And then I would like to, if she's still within range... Uh, since that was a bonus action, I'd like to Eldritch Blast uh, Gimmick once or twice. Okay. I write my Jeez. I write my number on the side of the Eldritch Blast. And smiley <laughs> face. <laughs> no fucking way. This finally happened. Another another gimmick simp. Um, <laughs> how far reaching is your Eldritch Blast? 120 feet. Easy peasy. Yeah, absolutely fucking can reach her. Yeah, roll, roll the, roll the things. All right, it's two rolls. Oh, First no. one, fourteen. Fourteen doesn't quite hit, unfortunately. And a oh, uh, this one was a ten. Did that hit? Unfortunately, also not. Weird. You, uh, beef on you do see an eldritch blast just <laughs> either side of you and a little post-it note with Ludo like just a random no, 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 number no no, no 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 Ludo is very loyal to Umberlight JC you see an, you see um, a mysterious number in characters you do not recognize <laughs> float on this strange sticky piece of yellow paper uh, it's gonna... very square in nature <laughs> I'm gonna treat the eldritch, eldritch blasts that are passing by me as anime speed lines. <laughs> yes. To make me go faster. They, they, <laughs> smell, <laughs> like, <laughs> they smell like turmeric and pepper. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. it for me, Diem. All right, beautiful Oh, and I, st I stepped out of the silence to do that. Yeah, of course, yeah. Um, yeah, that is very, very fair. Uh, Kinry is staying the fuck out of it. He can't do anything. And we go back to the beginning. So we've got Camellia and Tarquin on deck. And it is Citra's turn. Do you have... Do you have... No. Um, we need, like, that bit in fucking Advent Children where everyone's, like, giving Cloud a boost to get up to fight the thing. 
We need like the the land speed equivalent of that. <laughs> like just how do we push him further? The goal faster. Um can she do anything to slow her down? I have an interesting question. <gasps> yeah. Are we allowed to hide things from you? Or do we have to we have to let you know everything that we're up to? Um in terms of strategy in a fight, you can like Because there's stuff. something that I'm willing to tell you, but I don't want to tell gimmick. Yeah, they're like no, I don't meta game with the enemies at all. Cool. Yeah. No, that would be irresponsible DMing. <laughs> it's like, hey, hey DM, here's all my character secrets. I'm like, great, now all the baddies know that. <laughs> gimmick is an exception for reasons. Um, she knows some things. Um, she is also a shit talker. Um <laughs> yeah, No, I didn't I didn't think so, about that. That's true, that would be metagaming, yeah. No. Yeah, so yeah, no, I wouldn't ever, um, yeah, that's not what the game is about. But yeah, valid, valid question. Um, but yeah, if it's like a strategy in a fight where you're like, ooh, this would be a really cool moment, and I'm gonna like try and sneak up on key with it, like me forgetting that Citra exists that you can summon and like the kind of kind of sack yeah, of cat well. and shit. Hey, it gave, it gave temporary advantage for hitting her. So, so it, it worked out. Um, but yeah. Like that kind of thing, you can absolutely sneak up. You don't need to tell me strategy, direct strategy, um, or everything your character is thinking. But if it's like something that you narratively want to kind of be a focus on, or some other kind of discussion, then we can. It's, have it's cool, key. No, no, you're right. It's a metagaming situation. I was thinking of it mm. in a different in a different way, but you're in, what I was thinking of is a metagaming situation. I know you wouldn't do that. Gotcha. Yeah. No, I I I behave. I promise. Uh, gimmick's a bitch, though, which is why I'm like, I, I get it. <laughs> I do get it. Um, even just fighting with her, I'm like, god damn. Um, Citra also has 45 feet speed because Monk, so she's gonna run up kind of alongside you and then stop a bit early because her hit points are fucking low, and she is going to do another Fist of Embroken Air and see if she can knock uh, gimmick over for you. Got a DC 14 to beat. Or not beat. This is where we want her to get a natural one. <gasps> you see as uh, Citra runs up alongside you, uh, b Fun and just says, I'll try and get her down. She's yours from there. And she kind of just strikes the air, and you see this air wave kind of go alongside you and then speed up as it reaches Gimmick. And for a second, it, you kind of lose sight of it, and you're not sure if it's faded or just not manifested or if it's failed. And then suddenly out of nowhere, you hear the poof, and you see, um, uh, you see Gimmick just fall to the ground Ugh! and she okay. takes damage of the bludgeoning kind so not much but it's something um <laughs> and she is knocked prone she has stopped moving and any attacks on her while she is prone will get advantage Unfortunately, she still has a turn, but she will have to use half of her movement to get up. Just fun facts for me to consider. Um, so, fuck yes. Um, Citra will then, I don't know if she can, but she she just cheers you on. <laughs> like, she can't push you to go <laughs> faster. Um, she, like, maybe produces a little bit of flame near your ass just to get you running a little bit faster <laughs> um but that is all she can do unfortunately uh but with that it is camellia's turn and tarquin is on deck what are we doing i also have 45 speed Ooh, hooves. Oh. hashtag only <laughs> hooves no <Nope. laughs> i'll <laughs> run up over alongside citra and be fun and yes. longbow <gasps> and i get nice. to roll an advantage right you do. Ooh. Come 
Come on, team. Come on, team. Oh, my God. Uh, 19? 19 fucking hits. Yeah. Roll damage, roll damage! Huh? Oh, the dice Ooh. gods fucking love me right now. It's rolling Ten. so... Yeah! Full damage! How how does the how does the arrow fly through the air? Where does it hit? What happens? Paint the picture. I will try to get her in the face. Because <gasps> after witnessing her ripping off fucking Tarwin uh, Tarquin's arm, mm -mm. Mm -hmm. shit. You just <sighs> and you see it just kind of go into the side of her cheek, just through. Just leaving a huge gash. <sighs> and she's gonna kind of see the arm kind of ten feet or so ahead of her from where she fell over and ate shit. Um, is that your turn, Camellia, or would you like to do anything else? I am good. Okay, yeah you are. Uh, <laughs> Y'all are great. Uh, Tarquin, it is your turn, then Gimmick, and then Beef on, on deck. Okay, um, how exactly was the dead saves? What do I have to roll? Oh, yes. Um, yeah, we'll need... You got healed for uh... seven. <clears throat> yeah. Oh. <gasps> you're fucking right! That exactly um, music. So you're up. You have seven hit points. You're up. Okay. So... But, okay. But I'm here... not bleeding all over the place. <laughs> you are bleeding all over the place. Can I talk As... out of turn? Yeah. Bifon, while running, screams out loud, as loud as he can, Ludo, <laughs> Tarquin, grab the kid and head to town. You hear that, but Tarquin, as you come to and kind of stand up hearing Bifon's message at the edge of your hearing... You kind of partly look down at your arm or where it was. The blood kind of soaking the side of your chest down to your trousers. And yet it doesn't feel like an arm is missing. It feels like you are missing. There's no longer recollection of the ice giant that you slayed, the kraken that you impaled on a boat, the kids you saved at orphanages. There's no memory of any of those achievements. All you remember are the last few weeks going to the Adventurers Guild, flying to Ash Sky, the flames that consumed it. Sure, there were the medals you got at the competition, but at the time, your competition was barely that. You were a hero. You were a hero. You were a hero. Tarquin was a hero. And now, whatever is left is standing, his ally calling out for help, some commands that are effectively to head back to the village. 
to a place with a crime that you haven't been able to solve yet. A series of crimes and mysteries you haven't been able to solve yet. In your mind's eye, previously, where there were small islands in your consciousness of your friends and your family, but primarily your achievements and your goals and your aspirations and your heralding moments, lies a small island, nameless, the sign worn out. Flooded all around. No paths to it, no paths from it. Barely another isle to see. You barely even feel like Tarquin right now. But you are aware and alert to the chaos around you. If this is in fact you, if this was in fact ever you, what would you like to do? That is a good question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, I mean, I'd like to get that back, but uh, mm. I don't know if I can chase someone while bleeding from an loose, lo losing an arm, you know? So... You can certainly try. Nah, I'm not gonna make it. Right, so I guess um, I'll leave it up to be fun. You heard him call out to get the boy and return to the village. With a kind of solemn look over the back of your shoulder, you do see a good few feet away. Um, Kinry, the kid you've been looking for for the past few days standing very much out of the way very much in thankfully in his human form no longer under any threat of transformation he found who he was he was able to fight and know who he is despite whatever curse is wrought upon him You almost feel envious. If you look the other way, you see a smudge of pink in the distance on the ground. The only thing really clear in your vision is the bracelet that remains still on your arm. Potentially too far to reach. And if the only thing left in your body that you can be conscious of is your blood, then you have no intention of losing any more of that. Do you do anything? I mean, what can I do? <laughs> it's pretty much game over for Tarquin. Does he look to any of the others? Do any of the, the others look to him? Ludo's still there, looking at him. Mm -hmm. What did the healing do to his gaping 
shoulder socket wound. It cauterized it somewhat. Um, it's still a very traumatized injury, though. But it's not going to immediately be a threat. And if anyone can find a way to fight without an arm, it's going to be Tarquin. <laughs> okay, so I'm not really Tarquin? bleeding. That's the thing. I'm going to bleed out yeah. if I rush up after this woman or not. Um, Jesus. Um, <laughs> yeah, I figured you, you were going to go running after her. Honestly. Yeah, because... Yeah. because <laughs> you wouldn't, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was my plan, but I don't know if I can do it. Um, you can make a medicine check. See if you feel like you could feasibly get over there without either passing out or bleeding out or All right. t tearing some shit. Okay. That's uh, 19. Oh, yeah. Um, your wound is definitely, again, tra traumatized. It is a traumatic wound, but it is not mm -hmm. openly bleeding as of right now. So if you did a last dash sprint, it might be worth it for... Yeah, I'll yourself? use anything I have. A step of the way in anything yeah. you want. <laughs> I yeah. need that back. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. That That is you in that armband. As far as you know, that is what you know. And you know that that is you. Okay, one last try then. Okay, so... She's so... about... Uh, what would that be? She's about 60 feet away from you guys right now. Hmm. All right, then yeah. Let's 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 give it one more try. Step of the wind. Let's I have go. forty-five speed, so hit it with your nub. <laughs> I'm gonna hit it with the wet part of the arm. Oh. Oh. Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, if I can, I want to try to to catch up. So yeah. it'll be fun. I have to recover this. Get the get the arm. You can and you can reach the arm. You can reach her and you can reach the arm, which is slightly further ahead. So, you know, yeah. just just so to be clear, Tarquin would rather lose his arm than the armband itself. So. Oh yeah, but currently the armband is tightly secure. You made sure yeah. after the orphans <laughs> got it, the armband is on your arm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I... <laughs> Yeah, I secured it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, get the get the arm, get the armband. <laughs> that is kind of the logic. Okay. Great. So I I use that. And uh, is there any other rolls I need to make, or this one, this you one just, is enough? If you can roll fast enough, um, you can get to the arm and pick it up before she does. Okay. No other rolls what do I needed. Roll? No other rolls needed if you're dashing. Yeah. Yeah. So you just sprint ahead, mm -hmm. kind of run straight past her, and get to your arm. If you Give have it back. any, it's mine. Yeah. <laughs> if yeah, have... I think you still have a bonus action left. If there's anything you would like to do with it, I grew it myself. <laughs> <laughs> um, bonus action? No, I don't think I have. Uh, let's see. Oh, no, it's just uh, defensive stuff. No, nothing more. Okay. It is her turn. Uh, she is going to... Is she? That's not what you want to hear. Oh, Jesus. Um... Hmm. Oh, fuck. She is going to get up, which uses half of her movement. Mm. 
fine. Have it for now. <laughs> I'd say don't grow too attached. I will have it before long. But hey, you should all probably ask your friend, kind of as she gets up and dusts herself off. You should probably ask your friend what he felt without the armband on. Isn't that right, Tarquin? Oh, sorry, is that the armband's name or yours? I, I don't quite know. I will kill you one day. I would so, so love to see you try. But I have other business to attend to today. And I will see you soon. Maybe even sooner than you think. And she will cast Fly on herself. And she's gonna begin to fly away. Um, Beef on you will be in range to hit her with a uh, mage slayer if you so wish no okay um with that she lifts into the air slightly and uh, begins to fly back towards the clearing she's kind of just on the edge of the clearing so she's still visible and we're still in uh, initiative, unless anyone would like to um, stop her. But it is up to you guys. Would anyone like to try and stop her? No. Nope. Okay. Ludo Tarquin? Nope. I don't, I don't even know what's going on. She's, <laughs> fly she's flying away. No, I mean, I'm all the way over here. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> you just see she starts levitating and you're just like, whoa. <laughs> How did she go? Okay. In that case, initiative is over. And she flies into the tall treetops of the forest. And out of sight. And that's where we're going to take a quick break. Oh my god. They fly now? GG for surviving that. She she flew the first time you met her. They she fly was flying now. when she cast the chains. She's she a baddie, man. I'm telling you. Y'all did really good though. Y'all knocked her fucking shit hard. She's like level eleven? At least. Fuck. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I say it's... one day because it's not gonna be right <laughs> not now. now. <laughs> it is. It is a really good job you got the the uh, armband off of her because she would have become more powerful with it. Yeah, and Tarquin would have become not Tarquin. Tarquin would be like Jim. <laughs> Terry, we call you Terry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, on that bombshell, we will be. Right back, 10, 15 minute break. That was intense. You, just, you guys genuinely did phenomenally. Um, G fucking G's. Woo. Woo. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> God damn it. That was strong. Ooh. All right. BRB? Switching? Yes, BRB. Okay. BRB. We'll see hey. you guys in a sec.
We love your whole <laughs> arms worth. This is so sweet. Yeah, it's pros on the road too, man. It's otherwise known as the Prompto has a problem, aka Robbie Damon, <laughs> perfectly going, he knocked, and not going, oh, for fuck's sake, where is it? It's just, it's just, <laughs> hey, Ludo! Well, what's up, Tarquin? I lost my identity for a few minutes, my name was um, but welcome everybody! I hope you got. <laughs> Sorry. I hope you got good drinks. <laughs> got caught up in my feelings. Uh, go get good drinks and food. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Brain fart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still exp expunging gimmick from my body. <laughs> got got up in your ginks. <laughs> got, up, got up in my gimmick. <laughs> oh my goodness but that was a really chill first half i think we can all agree um mm -hmm. yeah we're just bros on a road too <laughs> uh <laughs> so um shall we pick up where we left off yeah wonderful no bros on the road too for us anymore um, is it this one or is it this one? We'll see. Let's have a look. Oh, not quite. That's maybe a little bit too much. Samba de Chocobo. <laughs> we might put on the Chocobo one accidentally if you're good. <laughs> 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 okay, let's do maybe maybe encroaching fear. A little bit of encroaching fear. Oh no, not encroaching fear. <laughs> that's, that's too. That says like we're gonna fight again too much. Okay. But we have just Sam obviously <laughs> we have just come from the fight. I forgot there's stealth in it. We have just come from the fight. Um, we have the gang, um, Citra kind of walks over. Uh, I mean, do you still technically need me for this, or? That's up to you. You are free to go. Thank you very much for your help. We might run into something more at the village, so if you'd like to stick around. Uh... Well, I'll head back, but I'll we'll keep the charge on the coin because we didn't really kill anything. Um, yeah, I'm willing to help out again, though. Just uh, use the coin if you need me. Peace. And just <sighs> smoky teleports away. Well, let me add that coin back to my inventory then. <laughs> yep. Thanks, Key. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Fucking pest. <laughs> <laughs> I am pest today. <laughs> Not brat, but pest. Demio pest. <laughs> um, Gen Z language. All right. Um, <laughs> as a cusp Gen Z, I'm allowed to say that. Um, so. Uh, Kinri will also kind of come over tentatively. Look up at... Tarquin, are you, are you okay? Look at me. I've never been better. <laughs> now, kid, I hope you save this world. Make this worthwhile. Uh, I don't really know how to do that. You can grow up and become strong. Just promise me you will be a good man. I'll try my best. That is um, enough for me. Tarquin, as your proximity to uh, the armband has gotten closer, you do start to feel some of the memories returning. Uh, 
however, without wearing the armband in full, it will, it just isn't the same. So you can roll a sleight of hand check to try and untie it <laughs> from yeah, your Yeah, I would like to try and arm. put it back on the other arm. <laughs> yep. <laughs> the sleight of hand is purely because you wove it on so tight. Um, yeah. We ain't, we ain't going to punish uh, maiming or uh, dismemberment or any form of disabilities here because there are workarounds and we can give we can find other ways like you just punch extra fast with the other arm it's all good fuck it <laughs> so yeah a sleight of hand uh, uh, of course i get a to... one because i can't oh, no. with one hand <laughs> <laughs> can anyone help me please <laughs> yeah i'll help um uh, dm so... as a former sorry real quick mm. As a, oh, yeah, as a former healer, still kind of yeah. healer, how would I normally go about reattaching a severed arm? <sighs> I'm not sure you would. Um, it, there would be kind of an attempted surgery um, to reconnect the nerve endings. Uh, doctor, language, jargon, jargon, schmargon, blargon, anatomy. Uh... <laughs> um, however it would be done in as sterile conditions as possible and ideally not with potential town full of werewolves uh, nearby and um, there was always a significant risk that it would it wouldn't take or it would need extra assistance to kind of regain its use or um, it would kind of become support for a technology or a arcan, uh, arconic engineering invention uh, to be able to kind of pull the slack. So it'd be more of a base for that. Um, a lot of people were just like, nah, toss that and give me a cool magic arm, please. Um. <laughs> would I know about any Understand. magical means of reattaching it? Like certain spells? Um, you would know a couple of people that do, and you'd know that it's something that can be done. Um, as for people in your dash that can do it, that would be a difficult history check, but a doable history check. Everything is doable in d, &D. But I mean, for Ludo, nothing's stopping him strapping a really big label ladle to his shoulder. Ah. So he just <laughs> can help with cooking and have a bonk weapon, you know? <laughs> Is that our options? Not a bad deal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you want me to roll sleight of hand to help Tarquin with armband or have yes, him roll again? Please, yeah. Yes, please. Eleven. Eleven. Eleven just about um, undoes it. <laughs> he loosened it up a little bit. Um, it, you kind of more pull it off down the arm rather than untie it, um, which does cause a little bit of scratching to the arm, but it does come off, which is the main thing. Here. And... Uh, Tarquin? Yes. Why did she want this? Because it's powerful and it, I'm supposed to protect it. Hmm. I need it on my arm, please. Can you put it on me? Uh, yeah, here. I'll slide it on. Very slowly in your mind's eye, the pools and the flooding around the kind of Isle of Self and knowledge and history the water kind of simmers away washes away revealing the other islands you remember the kraken you remember the ice giants in the mountains you remember all of these accomplishments they come back to you slowly but at a steady rate and it only takes a minute or two before it's all restored as it was before Except you still 
remember the feeling of not having it on. And not having the memories. But also not having the sense of self. Still very much linger in your mind. Out of character quote, this is the first time this happens to Tarquin, so... Mm -hmm. Very good. Yo. It was very brief with the orphans, but thankfully, but uh, this time slightly more significant. Yeah. Yeah, I roll a sleight of hand to craft a uh, some sort of piece out of the robe of many things to put on the side without the arm. Oh, like a... Um... Something to cover up the wound and to um, hold everything down so he doesn't start bleeding. Yeah, absolutely. Like a mm. like a um, staunching... A, a, a cloak of staunch... A, a half cloak of staunching. <laughs> Something like that. Fuck yeah. No, I like it. Oh god, it's a 10. <laughs> it's gonna be rubbish. It is, you know, <clears throat> in your mind... I mean, it's what anyone could achieve with needle and thread and, a, and some cloth. You know, it it holds on, it doesn't fall off, and um, there doesn't seem to be any more bleeding, so thumbs up. It doesn't, it doesn't tuck, look great. I tuck the arm in there, too. <laughs> oh shit! It's just a yeah, big pocket for the arm. Well, what are we gonna do? Put it in one of our backpacks and just <laughs> put it in the fridge of holding. Hey, Luto, you have room in your fridge? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's not a bad idea. Just gotta make sure I extra label it so I don't eat it. <laughs> I mean, I'm yummy, but not that kind of yummy. Uh, are you gonna eat his arm? Probably not. Well, what do you mean, probably not? We're not. We'll make sure. It's in the fridge. No, but that doesn't answer the question. You don't, you don't eat stuff that's in your fridge? We don't have one of those. Well, when you get one, it's basically a box for food. Like a pantry. Bifon's gonna write a little note that says <laughs> Tarquin, and it's gonna <laughs> stick it on the arm. <laughs> Tarquin, do not eat. <laughs> exactly. And then Noodle will go, ah, Tarquin is not allowed to eat this. But yeah, I pretty can't. much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tarquin's not at work today, so. <laughs> Don't want it to spoil. Oh, oh no. my god. <laughs> oh, I'm just, I'm just remembering Danny's not here. He's going to come back, and Tarquin got no arm. Mm hmm. Hi, Danny. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> Gonna... Just temporarily uh, attack. There's my lad. Give me a fine shake. What? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say absolutely temporarily reattach it. Fuck him up with that shit. Uh... Oh, yes. <laughs> oh my god. Pulling so many pranks on him. Like, hey, give me a hand. Oh, you took it. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. Um, but Tarkin, Camellia did ask a question. As to why Gimmick might want the armband. Which is up to you whether you answer or ignore it, indeed. And merely yes, reminding. Of course. Oh. Alright, so here's the deal. Or at least what I know about this. I was given the... The task or the mission, if you will. Back at the monastery. That, uh... I would become a great hero and a deserving member of our group of monks if I were to keep this safe, because it's a very powerful artifact. It is called the, the Whispering Stone, but I did not know its powers until just now. So if this falls in the wrong hands, it could be a terrible thing, and... Apparently, these people know about it, and they want to keep it for themselves. That's why I am the guardian, and I cannot let it fall in the wrong hands. And what it does, I do not understand uh, how powerful it is, or the limits it has, but uh, 
He just made me feel like I am invincible. It made me remember so many deeds I did. But right now I am so confused. I do not know what's real anymore. Oh. Well, are you the same person before you put it on? I think I am. I've always been Tarquin, or at least that was the name that was given to me. But perhaps uh, there are things that uh, are just in my mind. I don't know. I have so many things to think about now. Well, well, whether you have it on or you don't, you're still Tarquin. You're still my favorite hero. Still a member of the uh, Breakfast Club. Yes. I guess I... I can always be something good for this world, whether I was or not before. Yeah, but for now, let's keep it on. <laughs> ah, yes. It makes me feel a lot stronger. I will not lie. So, you're a hero? Honestly, I do not know, but I hope I am. Well, I saved you, didn't he? Yeah, you all did. But I was gonna ask, who are you all? Oh, well, uh, I'm Luro. This Camellia. That's Bifon. And of course, you know, <laughs> this guy. No. <laughs> He just said his name like four times. Well, I know it's talking about I don't know him. Oh, you must have been a wolf for a very long time. Hey, speaking of, how you, how'd that happen, by the way? Well, uh... I... You, you can't tell anyone else, okay? Okay. You promise? Yeah, sure. Inside check. He's inside checking all of y'all. Oh shit, he got an 18. Are you all telling the truth? Are any of you gonna spill the beans? I probably won't. Mm -mm. Nope. Okay. Well, uh. So. I used to do um, a trick where I'd say that there were wolves in the forest nearby, um, and there weren't. <laughs> uh, I just wanted more food for um, Little Still, you know, my brother, and um, for the rest of us kids, you know, if we could distract the adults, we got more food at night. and. That was never a bad thing, you know? Um... And then, one day I was like, ah... They're kinda getting really annoyed with me, and it's causing more of a headache than anything. So... And, you know, I wanted to mess about elsewhere. Um, so... I was like, I've lied. You know, whatever. Um... A couple of people got really mad. Um, and then one day, uh, I was, I was just, um, wandering out a little further than I should have been, and, uh, I, I met that lady, and she asked if I wanted to a, a way to protect my family and to live my dreams. And what kid wouldn't say no, you know? What kid wouldn't say yes? Uh, me, in hindsight, um, but, uh, I, I took it and that night I 
became a wolf and or wolf person and I had full control and I could just leap through the trees and run around in the forest and I was just really free for the first time and nobody said I couldn't go out there and it was just so good, you know? And, uh, then it kind of got bad. You see, oh, he kind so. of, like, nervously shifts and looks away. Well, because there was, uh, well, because I was playing at the building site, and, um... If he didn't like it when I did that, the butcher, um, Frank t tried not to tell on me, but she eventually just noticed. And she just really had an issue with me. Um, and so Rianne came over and was like, stop. And I was like, no, I'm just, I'm just balancing, you know? I couldn't tell him that I had better control of my balance and everything. And he grabbed my arm and tried to pull me off, and I don't know how or why, but I bit him. Just in my regular kid form. Didn't think anything of it. Um, but then... For the next few nights... I could just hear more and more people getting turned. Rianne turned and he was so mad. And yeah, it was really bad. I would, uh, go into the basement and try and make sure Still was safe. Um, eventually, Meglin found out, our teacher at the schoolhouse, and she had these books, and we'd already been reading them, and they were super cool, like, fables and stuff, but she started showing us them more and more, and we eventually put together why, and she was trying to tell us all, myself included, that effectively everyone in town was a werewolf. And she didn't know that I was one of them. So, we all kind of started gently preparing for should the worst occur and everyone just turned on each other. Um, I would just go and sit at the edge of town for a bit and look at the moon and hope that everything was going to be okay. And then one night, uh, I guess Ryan caught on and he saw me leave the house at night. And, uh, he found me out by the clearing that you probably walked past. And he attacked me, and he was angry that I d turned him and given him these uncontrollable urges, and I don't know why he couldn't control them. I could, you know? And I'd taken Steel with me, so I was so concerned about him getting hit, so I ran to try and distract Ryan and take him away with me, 
Um, and then before I could go anywhere, Grenfer appeared. And he was also a wolf, and he attacked Rianne to help me out. Do you know um, if Steele's okay? My brother? Last we saw him, he seemed fine. Good. Good. I don't know who found him and brought him back. It was probably another one of us kids, but... I don't know how many of us are cursed or infected. Um, it's not magical, unfortunately. Um, and I stayed away from town because I didn't want to cause any more trouble, because I guess if anyone found me and found out I was a wolf, then they'd start getting at each other's throats, and then there just wouldn't be any of us left, you know? And so I'd been waiting to see if the lady came back, and if she could fix whatever this was, but she didn't, and she wouldn't. She said it was a waste of potential and that not even killing her would stop the powers from taking over killing me might but she didn't say it in any confidence I mean you heard her she doesn't say anything straightforward So that's, that's kind of what happened. So now, what do you want to happen? I want everyone in town to be safe and well, and we can all exist. And if we're all wolves, we find a way to not hurt other people. And... If we're not all wolves, see if there's a way to cure it, or... I don't... I don't know. Hey, can we? Mm-hmm. Do you know why anybody would want to hurt your teacher? Is she okay? Do you know? Do I know what? Why anybody would want to hurt Megalyn. Mm. I mean, she was really nice. <laughs> I guess if someone found out that she was helping us kids try to get out of town safely and abandon everyone else, and that might make some of the parents mad or something, but she never hurt anybody that I knew of. Unless she turned to. She was trying to get you guys out of town? That's what we figured. Well, why else would she tell us about silver and... Kind of how werewolves work. Is she okay? 
No, she's not okay. Besides Ryan, besides Vic, besides Yorv, do you know anyone else that is for sure a wolf? Grenfer. As for the others, I don't know. It's very possible, though. I don't think any, at least last time I was there, I don't think any of us kids were, except for me. Who killed Mecklin? That's what we're going to find out. You guys ready to go? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's the plan when we get back into town? We're gonna head to the north side of the village. We're gonna try to get Rion to come out. What do you mean, try? Well, you just call seems like it? seems like one of your friends uh, has been casting a spell over the village. Do you know of what Tommy's been doing? No. Holy shit! She finally managed to cast a spell. Excuse has she, the language. Has she tried before? Yeah. She's read a couple of really old wizardry books. They've never worked out, though. Oh, it's so cool. Well, tell so me knows. And they found something that they thought might help. Something that with anyone with ill intent cannot leave nor enter the village with that intent. So if you want to help out, you want to show how strong and brave you are, Now's the time. Hmm. Uh, it's like Tarquin said. Gotta become a... make strong men at some point. Just make sure you keep all your appendages. Oh, I'll try. Nam tends to keep the tail. If I can control it to stay out while I'm in human form. Helps with balance. Yeah, they're fun. So I've heard. Really, the bags are cute. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just let All me right. know what I have to do. You just stand beside me. So. Mm -hmm. We're going to make our way to the north side of the camp. I need you all to do whatever you can to get to some sort of strength um you know heal up whatever you got left uh just in case this goes bad and everybody's gonna have to hide yeah and what happened to vic and yorf um yorf is is succumbed to the to the weeds uh kind of even as they kind of shrink away <laughs> as time runs out in them he, he just continues lying there um is he Vic dead? is no he didn't take any damage otherwise he's, well, he just kind of like, like lied down in the weeds like fuck he's yeah still it's in the just room. napping now yeah <laughs> um and uh vic was almost dead um, turned back into his human form, so it's absolutely stark, blinking naked, um, very charred, very char-grilled, um, and still unconscious, just in the middle of this clearing. That's good, because what I'm going to do is <laughs> I'm going to use Disguise Self. Oh, oh, shit. To make myself look like Vic. Nice. Got the light Scottish accent ready. 
Oh, I'm terrible at Scottish accents. That's fine. We can make it a performance check. <laughs> <laughs> you can change your fate. <laughs> if you what's, have what's the, the word that always to gets change me? Your feet. Is it no? Is that no. the one that I usually use? No. No. I know. What's what's my man from three hundred? I gotta channel him. <laughs> oh, uh, Gerard Butler. Yeah. <laughs> he talks into his beard and his lower teeth. Yeah, you get my no. My it's the time. opposite of David Tennant, who's trying to talk to his freaking eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> no, I need that hard, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> if you could Troy change your he's feet. trying to eat his own face, man. <laughs> if you could change your feet into hooves, would you? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> the Scorpio timed <tied> it. <laughs> All right. All right. So that's Making the first ready. part. First thing is to get Rian out of the village. And then okay. we'll do the second part. All righty. You lead the way. Tell me, you tell me what's happening. No, we're going to the north side of town. Hopefully uh, we can spot Rian and no one else. Let's do a short rest first. Get our hit points back. Mm. All right. Whatever you guys got to do. Short rest music. Everybody, short rest. Nap, oh yeah, nap. I just realized I don't have any music nap, on. short rest. There we go. The skill issue. <laughs> nap, short nap. Rest, nap. Honk, me, me, me. Ah. Wonderful. I heal for... 14. Hey! Honks you, honks you. Anybody else who took damage should probably use hit dice and heal as well. Tiny honks you, me, me, me. Big EP. Lovely, dreamy rest music, a la Zelda. It goes like this do, 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 do. Do 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 do. <laughs> While we're doing our short rest and resting up, I'll take a look at Tarquin's stump. <laughs> uh, probably can Severely put that back. Arm. Probably need some magic. Maybe back in the city we can find somebody who can put it back. But uh, for now, by hitting yourself. Just gently bapping him with his own fingers. Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. <laughs> I don't oh want AI to be made of my voice. I want my voice to make AI. No, I don't want to. I didn't mean it that way. Whoa. I'll be the AI. You don't need AI. You just need key. With with juice. key intelligence, KI. <gasps> KI. It's a whole new concept. <laughs> <laughs> Siri, Hugh, and there it is. Alexa, never heard of her. <laughs> Siri sounds like Bar do. Barbanus. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely dreamy rest music. I want. How do I do people? Welcome. How do I do people like a sat nav direction voice? <laughs> with Barbanus. Darn right! Now, quick! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I have reached your destination. Thank you for flying your Barbanus. Barbanus, I can't even say my fucking name. <laughs> I do not, not know what Star Mode is. <laughs> yes. Yes. Key, please don't become GLaDOS. I would never. Too late. Too late. We get portal guns now. <laughs> it's it's been so long since I've practiced my GLaDOS. There is a GLaDOS though. I have had a friend hit me because of my GLaDOS. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> the cake is a lie. Ah, uh, no, it's not here today. She's not here today. Mm. <laughs> please, please leave a message after the tone. 
<laughs> emergency, emergency, patient <laughs> doctor beaten. <laughs> I am all the AI. I think AI. those are the two lengths of your, of your tone. On high days, it's Lisa Simpson. On low days, it's GLaDOS. <laughs> Look, the AI cannot c succeed if I am the one doing all of AI's work myself <laughs> by the power of human ingenuity. <laughs> 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 I have to always do an inspirational speech for Lisa. I don't know why. Either that or, of course. I am the lizard queen. I am the lizard queen. You all get a short rest and are rested and short. Hey. Danny, Danny isn't here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, two of you fucking bullied him. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> All right. So, we heading back towards town. Renewed. Just to the edge of it. Beef on his old rust up. His Vic. Vic. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we reach the end. Boop. The beginning. The, the end beginning. In the beginning. We reach the edge of town. So, it's... all I need you to do is just be the happiest kid you could be. Because I've been rescued. Yay! That's all you gotta do. Just stand here beside me and just look real happy. But stay outside of the village. Okay. Um... And guys, when Rion gets here, somebody grab him. Scarf will be by the back of his neck. Everybody roll a perception check for me, please. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Not the friends karaoke. Jesus, my brain's losing it. All right. <laughs> That's a 10. Nice. You Fourteen. can see. Uh, <laughs> they have my eyes. Five. <laughs> Please, they have my eyes. <laughs> uh, no, Ludo fucking doesn't. Um, oh. You can't see anything. Oh god. Oh wait, you're just blinking. It's fine. Uh, it's not. Just had fell over his eyes. It's happening again. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> it happens every now and then. Quite frequently, often. This game. Okay. Um. Hang on. I haven't even got this up. Why haven't I got this? Why haven't I got this up? Um, uh, paging Dr. B. Emergency, emergency. There we go. Now I, now, now I can see it out of the rooms. Okay. Uh, Luto, you see that this is Vinefell Creek. Maybe. Um, Torquin, <laughs> you see that it's Vinefell Creek, but with, with a 10 perception check, it's, it, Seems fine. The vibe check is off there. The, the the vibes are not vibing. There is there is something a foot or even a hoof as we go to Camellia with fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um <laughs> Camellia and Beef on you both can sense it is too quiet. It is entirely too quiet. Um, Camellia, you can. <clears throat> you can see uh, some kind of footprints towards the social area of town that indicate some kind of scuffle or a, a slightly larger meeting than is usual, seemingly, for this time of the day. Bifon gets the fucking Matrix view <laughs> sign, like, replay, action replay. Um, you see and smell trace amounts of blood on the ground in the social area. You see the footprints where they've kind of slid in the mud in some form of what appears to be a fight. 
there is quite a lot of blood and there is quite a lot of hair um, dark hair and dark reddish hair um, you can also hear um, some strange noise or a kind of very low conversation coming from Grenfer's house. Uh, you can also see the blood trail kind of leading back towards Rianne's house. And uh, you can see uh, a light on in Horace's house. A new plan? Mm -hmm. Something fun. We're gonna circle around to the south side of the village. Why is everything okay? I don't think so. You can't tell? Oh, gods. Um. Yeah. Wolves. Blood. And something happened here not long ago. You're right. You so we're gonna go around to the south side. I need somebody to call out Grassbeam if you see him. Okay, yeah. Yeah, somebody call out Horace if you see him, and um, I'll stand a little bit back with the kid. If we don't find him, then we'll move on to the next step. Okay. Um, as you head round the south side, walking past Horace's door, um, you would see that uh, his door is open, and he's kind of uh, sitting on his bed, which you can see super clearly with the windows being open and uh, his front door also ajar. Oh, no, it's just it's just open. It's not even ajar. It's, like, fully open. Hello? Someone Horace? out there? I'll, oh. I'll go check on him. Horace? Ah, uh, Camellia, was it? Right. Uh, what happened? Um, you can immediately see that, um, in addition to his previous scar on his neck, his kind of shirt's been very much undone and um, he's kind of trying to tend to various wounds. Um, he's definitely been, at the very least, uh, wolf scratched in quite a few different places, kind of around the shoulders and chest and head. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. You wouldn't believe me if I said a work injury, would you? <laughs> no. May I ask what you've discovered, if anything, since you've been in town? Something about wolves? You got a bit scratched up there. Yeah, yeah. Got into a bit of a fight with one of them. Naturally, they started it. Who? Who do you think? Rianne? Bingo. Mm. Managed to come out the other side slightly better off than he did, though. <clears throat> That's not saying much. Where is he now? In his place. 
He's unconscious, so you might not get much out of him. No. <sighs> Anyone else hurt? Uh, Miss Effie at the butcher's shop. I'm not sure where she went, but Rianne accidentally clocked her while he was in his partly transformed state. She insisted it was me that did it, but then she would, wouldn't she? Was anyone bit? Not that I know of. <laughs> and if they were, would you know what to do about it? Kind of looks at you somewhat solemnly. Ah, uh, that's what I'd figured. <sighs> we'll see if we can figure this out without getting to that point. Yeah, well, I'm not in much state to put up a fight, so... If nothing else, find the kid and find out who did this to fucking Meglin. Mm -hmm. Although my suspicion is also Rianne on that front. Now he gave me an opportunity to swing at him. <clears throat> well, uh, we might have something. I'll check in with my group. Do you need anything or healing? Healing would be fantastic, but if you need it for yourselves, I fully understand. Mm. Okay, well, take care, and I'll go back to the group. Yep, he just lets you walk away. Rian attacks people. He's unconscious in his place, apparently. Uh, Vic and the kid are gonna just move from, like, bush to bush somewhere where Horace can see us from his door. Okay. Yeah, you can totally do that. Yeah, that's all. No reaction from Horace? Uh, he's kind of out of it, so he, he doesn't know if he's, like, seeing shit. Uh, he does kind of get up and move towards the door and kind of look out. Vic? Is that you? Yeah, so, what were you doing out there in the forest all this time? We've been looking all over for you. Oh, I'm just please. trying to get like a little, yeah, just, just okay. do something, hey. Uh, yeah, it's, it's nice to see home again. All right, well, Henry? let's Can... get you back to your house then. Um, and then we're going to disappear is... into the bushes. Horace is following. He's like, no, come back. <laughs> kind of limping. Uh, hobbling towards you guys. Kind of just out the periphery of the sphere. He's out? And... Yeah. Now, Ludo. Huh? I grab him. What? Uh, ow, 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 ow. You did it. Doing? Right? Do you know what this means? No, 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 Ludo. He's fine. He's oh. fine. He's fine. Oh, okay. Can you just Sorry. let go of like the wound? A no, bit? let's just <sighs> keep a hold of him, though. Don't injure him further. I'm not gonna do anything. Horace, what the hell happened here? What do you mean, Vic? What are you talking about? Are you working with these guys, or somebody else? Want to ask him what happened here? Henry, are you okay? Explain uh, to us what happened here. Who did it? Yeah. Are you the wolf? Uh, look, 
I was minding my own business and Rian came up to me while we were having lunch and just went batshit. He turned into some kind of wolf thing, partly, and did this to me, and points at his wounds. There's a kind of significant one on the front of his head that's still quite heavily bleeding. And thankfully, he didn't get the jump on me, and I managed to knock him out. Why he well, do that? just between the two of you. Uh, Renfrew well, didn't he... get involved. Oh, n n no, not. He was there. Every everyone was there, but he didn't. You're telling me you guys can store up such a ruckus, and no one else got involved. Well, Effie tried to pull Rian back, but he accidentally hit her. But then she told everyone that I'd hit her, which is just a blatant fucking lie. Where's Effie now? I don't know. I don't know if she followed Rian back to her place or went somewhere else. But she's getting healed up, I think, by Tisha or something. Or if something is going down, I need you to stay outside of the village. Okay. Are you okay, Vic? Just have been in a big fight trying to get the boy back. Wow. I... I'm proud of you, man. Like, I, I know you were struggling for a few months. I'll back. explain everything later, okay? Look. Oh, okay. There's a lot going down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't think you have anything to do with it, but please stay out of the village. For your safety, the boy's safety, everyone's safety. Hard. So it, he turns to Ludo. So is Vic going for like a promotion? I don't know. I'm very confused. It, it's compelling. <laughs> you just stay like here. He's, say. He, tell everybody you gotta stay here, so you gotta stay over here, okay? Oh, no. We're gonna go that's, around to the east side fine. now. Okay. I'll let you in on what's going on. You want a sandwich? Oh, yeah, I'd love a sandwich, thank you. Oh, you're hurt. I give him a, I give him a D6 of healing. Aw, thank you. Just a little bit. Just a little... Oh, there you go, full six. Nice. And I start fixing him a sandwich. I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't get it either. So everybody here a wolf? You're a wolf? Um... I want to speak to my lawyer. All right, whatever. Makes oh, up. just tell them they're here to help us. Roll a persuasion check for me, please. Sure thing. Uh, well, I'm disguised. Shouldn't I? Re shouldn't I roll a performance check? Advantage. It would. Well, you're you've already convinced him that you're like he he didn't roll a high enough. Oh, check we're to, we're actually persuading you. as Vic. this is. Actually persuading him as big, yeah. Gotcha. Man's already maybe got himself a fucking promotion. Yeah. Um That's a nineteen. I'm, I mean you know that I am Vic. I, I <gasps> You are as well. Ooh. Everybody in the village? No, don't ooh. Look I even they helped me to this, find Vic. the kid. They know most of what's going on right now. I, I, so you didn't tell them? Um, I mean, thanks. Has anyone That's else been turned really is what I want to know. Have the kids been turned? The kids are fine. As far as I know, the kids are fine. Um, Jonas still doesn't fucking know a damn thing, as far as I know. Um, no, I, I was only turned a couple of days ago when... How about Tisha, I... Effie? Well, um, I don't know about Tisha, actually. Or, or Effie. I assume so. I just kind of assume everyone is, but Jonas definitely isn't. Um, no, I... I How's I... Ravan doing? Ravan? Have I forgotten the character? <laughs> Rev Revan? Yeah, the <laughs> moss water. Can, uh, uh, yeah, Kenry's dead. 
Yeah, sorry, I, pronounce I did wrong? forget his name. No, I just <laughs> forgot his dad's name. Oh, um, he's still really freaked out, as always. All right. Um, no, so, Vic, you know, you know when I said that I went to Meglin's that one evening? And yeah. You were like, why the fuck do you smell like lavender? I was like, none of your damn business. Well, it still is none of your damn business, but if you really must know, we or... were on a date and oh. things were going really well and then she lost control and points to the scar on his neck and he bit me and she bit me. It was fully an accident. We freaked out together mutually and she said we'd figure it out. And I trusted her. I still do trust her, but obviously. Obviously. I'm sorry, buddy. Yeah. When this okay. is all over, we'll have a nice little drink about it. Well, no, no, I was about to say you're a different man without drink. I think, I think you should stick with it. I know, I know it's been hard, but I, I really think staying away from the drink is, is good. You know. After what's happened, uh, I think I might just do that. Yeah. We'll support you, man. You know we will. Anyway, um, go do whatever it is you're doing. I'll stay here. What kind of sandwich is this? Ruto, answer the man. <laughs> I was muted. Uh, <laughs> uh, possum. Oh. You know, I didn't used to like it, but then I started using it recently. It's pretty good. Okay, thanks. Uh, thanks. Thanks. I'll try it. <laughs> All right. So, what are we doing next, gang? We're moving around to the east side. East side. All right. Closer now. So, to the deluxe apartment in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> so we have Kinry, so that's not the yes. mystery. The mystery is what happened to Megalyn. Yeah. And I have a feeling it's not Rian, but I have a feeling that Rian's not going to be happy to see Kinry. Mm. Mm -hmm. So we're still basically trying to use the shield as bait. Yeah. Or like the net, basically. The idea until uh, the pest decided to stand in front of that. God damn. <laughs> I am the possum, motherfucker. <laughs> this means this means you're doing a good job, Key. I know, um, I know it does. I will always feel bad, but I, I am also a little. No, bit no, proud. don't, 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 don't. <laughs> the the idea was to get Rian out first see what Rian's reaction was and use Rian to help us to identify who in the town is and isn't whatever. Now we have a little bit more information and I am a little bit more confident in what's going on. Um, I think someone wants to remain a wolf. Maybe even turn the whole town. I don't know if it's an intentional thing or whatever. Rian wants to stop it. I don't know how this curse works, but like most monster curses, if you take care of the monster, everybody else is okay. Mm. The only person I think Rian would have any problem with is Kinry. Mm. That's what Kinry um, insinuated, yeah. This is just my guess, though, because we don't exactly know. We have two issues. We have two mysteries. It's who killed Megalyn and how do we break the curse? Mm-hmm. So Kinry my said that. guess, he went, he went to go and find, try and find gimmick, but she, whether truthfully or not, is an entirely different matter. But she was like, even killing me won't break the curse. Killing you might, though. Henry but seems to be patient her? zero. <laughs> yeah. So I was what, what I wanted to do was I wanted to bait Rian out because Rian is the one who wouldn't be able to get through. Mm. Like guaranteed. Uh, I have my suspicions about Jonas. Uh, Horace <gasps> confirmed that. Uh, not no 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 that he isn't. <laughs> that he <Okay>. isn't. 
Horus, I wasn't sure, but it didn't matter either way. Horus wouldn't have done anything to Megalith. But the only thing, the only other clue that I have is that there is somebody here that wants power. And a whole ass village full of a bunch of wolves isn't the worst thing in the world, especially if he's the leader of the pack. Then again, might not even be Grenfer because there's one person that we haven't really talked to all that much. And that's Grenfer's wife. The other oh, slight Tisha? suspicion is Effie, but Effie just seems like a crabby old bat in the first place. So I'm not Damn. 100% sure on Effie. <laughs> Get right, Effie! <laughs> Get done, I, it, done. The thing is, is like, <laughs> Rian seems like the most obvious person. Um, I would think that whoever m murdered Megalyn is somebody who has the opposite intention of Rian. Mm. That's just my guess. Who like what what's the reason to kill Megalyn? Megalyn has the most information. Megalyn's the one who wants to stop the wolves, who doesn't want to be a wolf, or who wants to get the kids out because they're not wolves yet, or whatever. Stop her, and nobody knows how to deal with this shit. Maybe Megalyn even knew how to fix all of this. I didn't want to say anything to anyone just yet because I didn't even know if I could trust Kinry till we got here. Mm. So yeah, the first the first idea was to pull Rian. Uh, we didn't get Rian, so we got Horus. We have a little bit more information now to work with. So now I'm just trying to spot Grenfor and Tisha. Grenfor is my number one suspect, mostly because he's the one person who I think would act with some sort of intention. But then again, Grenfor hasn't necessarily shown that. He might just be more bark than bite which is why I'm also suspicious of Tisha and Effie. Mm. They might be the ones willing to intentionally do something. Mr. Dime Package. Peace. For your efforts. Though I cannot confirm nor deny any of your theories for narrative reasons, please do take mm -hmm. a D6 of inspiration for all of this. Nice. Mad, mad fucking like detective board work going on right now. <laughs> Just the little red thread going on. Like, absolutely. fucking lootly. At the very least, we can collect movie. more information. We we need to pull people out of the village who can tell us something. Or, at, at the very least, reduce the number of people that we have to fight or confirm who we have to fight or who we'll have to go through. Mm. Which is the reason why I'm prancing around as Vic with Kinry. <laughs> because of what you said last week, JC. Hmm. We can't, we can't just bait them. Everybody will get mad. But right. if they see Vic with Kenry, it's like, oh, you found him. Let me add him. I see. <laughs> it's that interview <laughs> with that Australian guy. It's like, yeah, there was this dog. I was just looking really chill, and then we walked past it, and it was just... <laughs> oh, my God. Fucking what a pull. love that guy. <laughs> yeah. That's great. <laughs> Highly recommend that. I'll try and find that after the stream if I can find it. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a full confirm. I'd love to say it's Grenfer, but Grenfer also, I got the impression maybe he doesn't have it in him. Mm. He wants to be the leader, but he might not have it in him. He can be Sarah for all I know. I don't know. <gasps> all right. So what is what is the next step? We in the east side? So we're moving to the east side, see who's there and try to pull more people. Um, you don't see anyone kind of out and about. Um, mm -hmm. you do see the butchers is kind of open as usual. Mm -hmm. But no particular movement or anything inside from just um, your east or my east? Plants. <laughs> oh, fuck. Mm, your, your east. <laughs> yeah, my, my, I'm, I'm, I'm on the wrong side of town. Don't mind me. Yeah. I'm you hoping to spot Nasley. You don't. Or, if or Jonas. Well, that's why it's so still and quiet in the mm. in the in the butchers because you're too far away to tell. Because that's <laughs> on the west side of town, and we all know that. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> My weakness. 
Uh, you have a great DM, but she cannot tell East from West, <laughs> and it proactively damages the campaign. Um, and she's also just not not nice. Um, right. So West East East side of the West East side of town. <laughs> um, yes, you see kind of the back of. <laughs> <laughs> you see uh kind of the back of uh the um Al Owlsley's Owlsley's house. Um kind of uh some of the Mosswater's house. Um and the side of part of Horace's house, but mostly the Owlsley house. Um you do hear slight kind of low talking from the main house of the Owlsleys, um, less so from the kind of little um, annexy add-on part in the backyard. Where there's is that the... where the couple stays? Or you can pick, you can pretty much put that together. Yeah, it's like mm. surrounded by all the invent invention invention equipment. <laughs> Of this outdoor I hear it says nothing coming from the workshop. No, nope, nothing. No Damn. engineering sounds. Um, if you want to hear potentially quieter stuff, that'll be a perception check. The, the yeah, cost of a roll a perception. What's everyone else doing while Beef One is full? Is rolling a nine. <laughs> solid Vic mode in the in the the bushes. I think I discovered what Ludo's weakness is. His true kryptonite oh. is nuance. So, <laughs> Bifon, I mean, sorry, Ludo Valid. is kind of just uh, wait, waiting, <laughs> trying to trying to make sense of everything, trying to make sure everybody's all right. It's kind of, you know, like yeah, <laughs> stuff's tense and we don't know who did what, but we could be comfortable. So um. <laughs> Serving What's with the soup? hat? Oh, it's to keep the sun out of my eyes. Cool. Cool. Huh. Just Horace trying to make conversation. <laughs> <laughs> How long you been a wolf? A few days. It's nice, or you don't like it? It's got its perks, I guess. But really would rather not be. Or at least if, you know, like, had the choice. Yeah, I don't know how to fix that. How do we, how do we make everybody not a wolf? Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, me too. Dang. Is that a seagull under your hat? Uh, this <laughs> continues. <laughs> what are Camellia and Tarquin up to? Camellia's probably trailing behind Bifon. Nice, nice. And also gonna roll a perception check on the Owsley's house. Ooh. Big money, no enemies. As we're going round the backs of houses. That's dirty twenty. Dirty. Dirty twenty. So dirty. Ew. 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 <laughs> And what is Tarquin up to? Having an existential crisis in a book? Yeah, pretty much. Valid answer. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was thinking, you know, I, I don't see him going around and trying to solve <laughs> mysteries while... Beetle position, getting... hugging his arm. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Just existing. Um, oh. as, as, you're, as you're kind of sitting there, um, you, see, you see a little... Uh, what appears to be a chipmunk kind of just... <laughs> Scurrying across the floor, the forest kind of looks up and sees you. No. Oh damn! God, brave. That's gonna be a very short life. <laughs> <laughs> Just, I would like to uh, flurry of blows the chipmunk, please. <laughs> <laughs> it killed and tenderized all in one fell swoop. Nice. <laughs> little thing. Uh, Oh my god, I mean, you can attack the chipmunk if you like. You can no, why would I attack just it? Just watch it. Hungry, hungry Ludo. Uh, <laughs> 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 it 
new recipes. Uh, <laughs> okay, so, uh, Camellia, you hear... Oh, the music fade. You hear a very faint talking from the kind of annexed house at the back. It sounds just to be um, general conversation about what seemingly happened. Things you already know about the little fight that broke out between uh, Sarah and Jonas. Jonas? Jonas? It always changes. It's fine. Um, inside the main house, though, you hear three voices. Um, and one of them, kind of this feminine, somewhat cockney accented voice, is starting to get a little bit more loud, a little bit more aggressive. What would you like to do? Oh, whisper to Bibon. I, I can hear them inside the house. Mm. Should we try to lure them out? Who is that? I don't know. I, I don't think I heard one of their voices before. After. A couple more seconds, you hear a very muffled, you both hear a very muffled kind of yell. And you hear what sounds to be Effie crying out as if about to hit someone, as if she has been hit. A bit of both. And there is a thud and quiet and then very low, deep conversation from one deeper voice and one higher pitched voice. Okay, well, thanks, DM. <laughs> <laughs> Can I roll stealth to check through a window in the back? Absolutely, yeah. Thank you, Camilla. <laughs> um, seventeen. To your knowledge, you go unseen as you creep up to the window and peeking in. You see what appears to be the back of um, Grenfer and what seems to be Effie on the ground in front of him and Tisha at the other side, kind of towards the front door. So now what I need is the thing that I was kind of regretting. Um, Ludo, I need you to go around to the north side. I need you to go and get Rion. Okay. What if he don't want to um, come? You're bigger than him. Okay. <laughs> hey, Tarquin. You know, I, had, I had all this in mind. I know Tarquin has to stay in the back. Tarquin just stealth back up Ludo if you have to, but don't put yourself in any more danger. And Ludo, I was actually counting on Ludo's non-tactful <laughs> Just in case we had to deal with the stubborn Rian again. Yeah, Horace will just go, um, you guys, Rian's totally knocked out right now, so you'll probably be fine. Alright. Cool, just drag him out the less people we have to deal with the better we should do this we got three arms come on let's go oh my god <laughs> <laughs> just drag oh him beyond uh the, the the shield okay amelia you mm -hmm. stay where you are get ready to shoot if you must mm -hmm. um you 
both uh, Ludo and Tarquin go into the butcher shop, uh, which is where Horace points out is likely where uh, Rhianne is right now. And lo and behold, on kind of the meat chopping slab, uh, oh. you do see a very unconscious, very fucked up Rhianne. Um, does also appear to have been in a fight with a wolf and, and come out slightly worse for it than uh, Horace has. <laughs> and he is alive and breathing, but very much unconscious currently. What's the status of the meat shop? You know, there's a couple of sausages. It's kind of it's kind of lacking at the minute, really. There's not that much meat in there. Um... Alright, we'll get some sausages. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you can you can add two hair sausages to your inventory. Oh, wait. It takes a lot of hairs to make a hair sausage. Hey, pardon, hair? Yeah. Oh, I don't like want H-A-R-E. That. Oh, not... okay, yeah, I want that. Very. <laughs> <laughs> that's not gonna be tasty. Yeah, I, was gonna say, oh. I, don't, I don't think Friends is gonna want those. Cool. We need to call Willet sausage right now. <laughs> <laughs> Willet sausage. Yes. Can you eat Japanese ghosts? <laughs> I tried to put a Japanese ghost into a sausage, and it just didn't taste right. You know. Oh, oh, I oh, give this. Pop, pop. <laughs> <laughs> I give this zero Mark Ruffalo's out of <laughs> negative one. No, wait, that means it's good. <laughs> Another person who could play, uh, who could play Uncle Jing Jong? Uh, Zab. Oh, or yeah. Uncle Jing Jong. <laughs> Just straight up hair and a sausage. That's, that's illegal that should not that should not happen it's pretty wild that's awful despicable okay all right we uh we, we get the sausages pick up rian <laughs> why did we come in here we got sausages that's all we asked for right <laughs> uh throw them over my shoulder and just uh you know gently stroll on back Stealthily, not trying to wake him up. <laughs> cool, cool. Uh, Camellia, I need you to make a very loud noise as uh, Kinry and I are going to run into town and around the um, Owsley's place and back out near the Dee Dee's place. We want them to see us. Okay. Uh, sure. Okay, so we're gonna start running. Oh my god. I uh, gotta ask Camellia, how how does Camellia make loud noise? Is there a rock nearby? Big ol' rock? Um uh, There's like a big metal bucket that's with all the uh the equipment. Sure, I'll take that and throw it at the window. It's hard to attend. <laughs> Doing crimes. <laughs> um, they. I'm used to doing crimes. Everyone, <laughs> everyone inside looks at you. Run after Beefon. <laughs> what? What? That works. Mm. Mm, they they both kind of come outside. Uh, what what does everyone see? That is uh. Outside or looking outside. Well, just before they get to the door, I hear the smash, mm -hmm. and I just look at Camellia, which is the fuck. You said <laughs> loud noise. Just, you didn't just immediately start <laughs> running for our fucking lives. We're good influences on you. <laughs> Back outside of the north side of the village. Oh my I God. just wanted to make sure the Asley saw us. Yeah, now they saw us. Certainly fucking did, yeah. Yeah. Um Yeah, Jonas and uh, Sarah come out as well like the fuck was that? It's on a bucket or a window. No. 
Who said no? No one. Right. <laughs> hmm. Uh. So they all kind of start making their way outside. Uh, have you kept Horace outside the sphere as well? Oh, I told him specifically to stay out. Okay, so everyone else is just making their way in. He doesn't have to walk town. with us. I don't think he's doing it. I don't think he's up to anything. Gotcha. Uh, so everyone else is coming out of their respective houses and they see Tarquin and Ludo hauling an unconscious Rian into the center of town. Morning. They do? What are you talking about? Do they? I'm I'm confused of the of the of the. Of they the... were just supposed to go Fine. in and pull. I said pull him out beyond um, the shield. Gotcha. My apologies. Yeah. That's my turn to. <laughs> yeah, it was go in, pull get Rian, pull him out beyond the shield. Um, gotcha. <laughs> Camellia was supposed to just get their attention, <laughs> so they look out the front, like the 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 front windows of their house, and see us running through the town. <laughs> but instead, she threw. <laughs> she I threw mean... the bucket at the window beside her where she was stealthy. I mean, no they... one would have noticed her. <laughs> They come out the front door to be like, what the fuck's going on? And they would then see you guys running out. Um, <laughs> and you see oh, Tisha Owsley just going. <laughs> <laughs> you see Tisha just go. Oh, what? What's happening? And Grenfell's just like, oh, this is a fucking nightmare. What is going on today? And then kind of sees Kinry past the border. Kinry? Oh my god. And uh, eventually the moss waters also come out. What's all the fuss? And you see Felice, you see Kinry. <gasps> Kinry! And she runs with little, little still in her hands. Um... Oh through the through the shield um and easily hug hug uh Kinry who hugs them back and Ravan eventually follows and does the same he just takes a bit long like oh my god <laughs> goes out <laughs> um and Sarah and Jonas eventually come out cuz again Sarah very pregante um and she sees them running and hugging the kid and just, oh. And kind of holds Jonas's hand. And Jonas is really like, what the, what is going on? What is going on? I, I have no idea what is going on. Where's Hot? Vic, what are you doing all the way over there? Oh, uh, we, we found the kid. Um, Yori and I. He's uh, out oh. in the forest. Taking care of things. Uh... Yeah, come, come, welcome, Kenry. Aren't you happy to see them? Yes, I'm just surprised at all. Come, uh, come, Sarah. Let us. Um... She's like, yeah, yeah. No, we didn't want to impinge on uh, on the family. Um, at this point, you see uh, Tommy and. Brad <laughs> appear from uh, somewhere near the schoolhouse and they run out immediately to go and see Kinry. Um, you don't see Effie come out. Um, and you do see as uh, Grenfer kind of slowly makes his way over to the groups. I think we need a slightly less tense music than this, my goodness. <laughs> uh, <laughs> da, da, da. Uh, I feel like that one's just going to be really silly, so I'm going to put this on. I think this might work. And then it's just the most scary fucking song. Um, <laughs> yeah, Grenfer and Tisha are definitely more hesitant. But Grenfer is seemingly very emotional and slowly makes his way out past the shield 
boundary. Which none of them can see. It's purely something you guys have kind of figured out where it lies. Are you all right, Kinry? Yeah, I'm as good as can be. I'm, I'm sorry I didn't come back sooner and tell everyone what was happening. That's okay. You didn't have to. We're just really, really happy you're back and safe. But there is one small matter left. You're all just acting like everything's fine. And you see Tisha from within the sphere. Are we lying to ourselves and these new people as well? Is no one else going to say it? If you all don't mind, um, let me go check on Effie. I heard somebody take a spill. Uh, Tisha, would you like Gren to help me? Gren Grenfer turns around at this point and just goes, Oh, it, it, it were incredibly weird. Effie just turned on us and Tisha was trying to help heal her up after she accidentally got hit and just for no reason she just started attacking Tisha had to do something oh I'm sure you did Vic Tisha please uh, alright I'll come and help She'll follow you towards the Owlsley house. Effie's still just slightly fucked up. Just un unconscious again, but has a good old good old smack to the back of the head <laughs> and a slight cut on her arm that seemed to be from wolf, mini wolf fight. <laughs> she'll, she'll be alright. I'll make sure she's healed up. Oh, we should probably get her up. She stays unconscious too long. She might, uh, something might happen. What do you mean? Well, no one's got any reason to kill Effie, have they? I don't know, do they? I don't know what's going on in this town anymore. Are you accusing me? No. <laughs> Why would I accuse you of anything? I... I don't know. It's just a very stressful day, I'm sorry. And mm. she'll help move Effie, lean her up against something. Effie? Effie? Mm. Wake up! Fuck off. Ah, there she is. You all right there, love? Vic? Fuck yeah! What the fuck are you doing? We found the kid! You but it seems like all hell is broken loose while we were away. Ah, oh, fucking right it did. Fucking bullshit, man. Oh. Me, it's banging. Now we should probably leave her to rest. No. Don't you think? Oh, we gotta get her up and we gotta get her up and walking. Come on. Come on, Effie. Oh ah, I it's know it's a pain in the ass. We gotta get you some medicine. Get you fixed up. Can't Can have you really? falling out on us. I have to I have to say, like 
Horace was right. You're far better off without the alcohol. You know that, We right? caught wind of the kid. I was just out at the edge of town, and then we just went after him, Vori and I. I just been a long afternoon. <laughs> oh, tell me about it. Fucking Rian started attacking Oris. Well, I think it's Oris's fault. Plus, Oris hit me. Which is why Tisha needed to help me here a lot. Hasha, what were you fucking saying to me before? I, if, I don't... Uh, I don't know what you mean, Effie. Uh, it's weird. Come on, man. Where are we taking her? Oh, we just, um, we'll bring her out to the square, um, to get all, to get everything. Wait, you said Horace hit you. When we came back to the village, Horace was the first person that we saw. He said, Rian hit you. It, it, it was Rian. She just, uh, likes to defend him. No, I do not. Yes, you do, Effie. You have a fucking kid with him. Of course you defend him. Kills you the idea of you having slept with a deadbeat like him, doesn't it? <gasps> oh. The tea. All tea, all shade. Wait, see, so you, you were there, Tisha. Oh, I you saw, saw what happened? It happen. A lot of us did. It was a bit of a freaking ruckus. It was hard not to. So I come back to all this mess and everybody's just in their homes like everything's okay. Horace's guts are half hanging out. Well, we were just trying to keep the peace at least for a little bit. It only just happened, isn't it? By stuffing injured men in their houses bleeding out. He walked back there. Oh. I was going to make my way God, there should after, never but then he decided to try and attack here. me. And then someone threw a bloody... Bucket through my window. Wait, 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 wait. Effie, what are you doing, attack? What is going on here? I had my reasons. And I might have forgotten them. But oh, I this had them. Is that them. bump on the head that you took? Exactly. Sounds premeditated, sure, sure, if you're asking sure. me. Yeah, more premeditated than your kid was. Will you leave Brad out of this, you cow? It's very much between these two women who are closer and closer to being at each other's throats. <laughs> they were roommates. Oh. They were roommates. My... Goodness, I'm so glad Megal isn't here to see this. Just everybody at each other's throats. She always tried to keep the peace here. And this is how you honor her. Rest her soul. You do see Effie starting to not fully do anything, but she's getting some pretty major goosebumps on her arms from Engie. But you make your way outside safely enough, just about slightly deaf in one ear, but... <laughs> What's everyone outside the town? Brad, come over here! Oh my fucking god, is that Henry? Oh, that's good news, isn't it? <coughs> yeah, I'd say so. So... Are they done investigating them? Hey! Are you lot done investigating? Um... We still have to figure out who killed Megalyn. Is everybody outside the barrier right now? 
Tisha and I think the three Effie, the three of us are still in. Still inside, but yeah. everyone else is pretty much out. Rihanna, unconsciously so. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, everybody come over here and we'll be able to tell you what we've deduced. Mm. Okay, why is Rihanna over there unconscious? He well, should be in bed. Come over here and we'll tell you. I just told you. There was a yeah, big but... fight between him and Horace. No, I know. I was there. This is how I found him. What? Just in the forest? I didn't put him in the forest. I put him in my butcher's <sighs> shop. We took him Not... out. Same way I tried. Same way I tried to wake you up. I've been trying to wake him up. Oh. He's completely out of. He it. is a heavy sleeper. No, that's just you, love. Will you fucking stop it? <laughs> oh well you would know what is that supposed to mean <laughs> hmm? what what's that supposed what to you mean? mean what what's that supposed to mean Vic? what well it's a heavy sleeper we all know that right hmm. we all know that right You'll be never so weird today, Vic. What's your problem? You have a My problem? much I larger stick up your attacked. ass than usual. That. By who exactly? Do you even you know? You said you liked my sass. <laughs> Perfect music for this. No regrets. <laughs> <laughs> you said you liked it. Oh, right, just me, you go I over am. to Brad, please. Should have never woke you up. I'm trying to make sure everybody's okay. I'm, I'm not saying we knocked her out for that reason, but you can see why it was a slight advantage as well to the situation. But everyone makes their way over to the investigators, including Vic, who is definitely Vic. Uh... Wait, so everybody makes it through the shield? Yep. Huh. No one intends violence. In this current moment. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, here's your kid. Ooh, Can we have a uh, timeout? Like an out of character timeout? Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. So where are you guys at? Very confused. I'm about as narrow as I can get, and he's oh. not going to give. We can always burn the village down. That's true. He, I will say, I... is there any other clue we can possibly pick up? Because honestly, I'm short a clue here. That's, that's how I feel about it. I feel like I'm going to have to just take a guess at the... this point. So the shield <laughs> thing pretty much like having everyone there. Mm -hmm. Um the, yeah. yeah, the shield thing no, it, say it no more. kind say of no more. <laughs> it re work. it requires the violent um mm -hmm. intent yeah. kind of as you're going through. So for you guys to be like, here's Kinry, we have good news, by the way. And Rianne's fucking unconscious, which is, you're right, the one person who would probably have an issue no, with No, no, I, I have, to I, there is a bit of chaos going on. I don't want, I, I don't want you to give away anything, but no, I feel Kinry's like you're much at the end. That. I feel like there isn't anything that you can give us that you've put all the clues out there already. And that we can't really pick up on anything at this point. There so I kind of need there to see where the group is. Mm -hmm. No, that's fair. I'm over here I mean, fishing hard. And you've you're got, just not giving. If you're so, not sure, you've got everyone. Got if you're not sure, you've got everyone <laughs> here, and you can totally do insight checks on people. Um, you can just yeah. do a. I was a more so asking, like, insight check to see if anyone. Are we at the end of? 
this episode of The Mentalist. Like that's <laughs> <laughs> towards. Are we in the last ten minutes? Is sort of what I'm trying yeah. to figure out. I think at this point we have to point at somebody. Is what I'm saying. Mm. Right now, yeah, there's still some who yeah. is it not? Because Moss Waters, no. Uh, Tommy, not a wolf. Horace doesn't seem to have any reason to. Mm -mm. Like, what? What is, is our no what is our goal to find out who? Who took the kid or to make everybody not no longer a werewolf we, or both we know that a uh, kid ran away because he was wolf right now the mystery is who did it who did a kill at Magalie? kill meg yeah ah. and kind of why and we're not the, we still the don't nicest. think it was rian it might be for me i don't know we don't know how to lift the curse yet. That's going to be the thing we have to do later. After all of this, um, my guess is Rian figures the best way to end the curse is to kill a kid. I don't know if that's correct, but I don't think it's Rian. So the only reason I would think that he would have to be as hostile as he is would be if he thinks that's the solution. Because remember, um, Kenry said to us, he was very upset when he got turned. Mm -hmm. So as, so when Rian got turned, the only person he knew was a wolf was Kenry. Kenry seems to be patient zero in all this. He seems to be the first. Yeah, Kenry's pretty much confirmed that. To his knowledge, yeah. he's patient zero. Patient Could he also killed Kinry? So, so he he hurt he hurts <laughs> Rian. Rian ends up getting turned. Rian's upset about it and all this other stuff. But there's no information other than him losing control. There's no other reason for him to intentionally kill anyone. There's no reason for him to go after anyone. We can, we can, I mean, you know, we can say Rian lost control and kill Meg and that's it. But I think there's something more going on here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, honestly, my, it's too tangled my, right now. I can't make sense of it. So it yeah, looks my, like I'm going down the list but, of people. The four that seem most likely, Grenfer, his wife Tisha, maybe Effie, and Rian. And... As far as we know, those are just two separate couples. There's four of them and four of you. How apt. Should we roll some insights? Uh, same, but instead of Rian, it could still be Sarah. I don't mm -hmm. think it's Sarah, but it could be. Putting a pin in Sarah. Yeah. Ow! Uh, I'm, I'm, yeah. <laughs> but she has, I mean, the, she has the We bit. questioned her and she seemed pretty suspicious. <laughs> she, she began in there. You guys did a really good job because everyone you interviewed sounded suspicious. So you guys must be really. You're contented. all under arrest. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm not going to say that's not a valid option. I'm not going to say that's not a valid option. If you can find a yeah, way the to easy fucking answer make it happen, is it's Rian, arrest them all, to be honest. Your Honor. Yeah, the easy answer is it's Rian, I think. But then, like, mm -hmm. you're right. I think. That's the good ending, but to get like the golden ending, I think we got to do a little bit extra. But I just don't <laughs> oh, know how no, to get not, there. Not the fucking zero <gasps> escape. So the thing about door, Meg, gold door exits. Mm -hmm. Meg, no, Meg realized that almost the entire village was full of wolves. Um, was finding ways to warn the kids. Um finding ways to let them know how to destroy wolves and might have been looking for a solution if she didn't already know. She's the one in the town other than the kids that can speak Old Osprin. Old Osprin might be where we would find the information on how to cure this curse. Somebody, so it makes me believe that somebody killed her because they don't want to not, they, they want to remain a werewolf which sort of led me to thinking that it might be Grenfer. Also, Kinry had mentioned 
how Megalyn was also maybe preparing them to leave. And maybe Grenford did not want them to leave. I mean, you know, what kind of rule are you going to have <laughs> mm -hmm. if there's no subjects? A new age for the town, this little, you know, podunk town in the middle of nowhere that he wants to be, that he wants to rule over for some reason. It's like, but if there are a bunch of cool ass wolves, though, <laughs> and he gets to be the leader of the pack. But I'd every great man, which makes me think that it might also be Tisha. Oh. Sorry, I just wanted to insert dramatic gasp for purposes. <laughs> <laughs> Effie, the, my issue with Effie is I, other than just simple silly shit, like, um, yeah, she's got a thing for Rian and sounds like she's probably ran through a couple other dudes in the town. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I didn't hear anything about her having eyes for Horace because Horace is in the Meg. So I don't see any jealousy. I don't see, unless she feels like she's the rightful leader, but there's nothing that pointed to her feeling incredibly strongly about that. Cause you know, she's the, she's the butcher. She, she does have some standing in this town, but like if anybody else has another theory, cause that's just my, my main theory is that someone wants to remain a wolf. Too much of the town is wolf. Like, even when we were confronting everybody, they're all like, oh, come on, we know everybody here is a wolf already. They're, they've they been well aware of this this whole time. How, how did even Kinry become a wolf? Dead Meg told me everybody is a fucking wolf. Uh, Kinry oh, yeah, ran woman. into, uh, what's her name? Gimmick. Gimmick? So, gimmick. So Gimmick made the first werewolf, and that's why this mm -hmm. whole thing went down. I see. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was like, I thought maybe it was the dog. I was like, the dog's the first <laughs> werewolf. <laughs> no. <laughs> the dog uh, has a favorite fish that is available from um, the butcher, which is red herring, which is <gasps> the same the same fish <laughs> as can be found in many of the rivers around this village. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> There's a few red herrings. Mm-hmm. Oops. Sorry. Some intentional, some not. <laughs> I think without some kind of way to verify, like without some kind of like truth telling serum or like some kind of like, I mean, I guess a really high insight checks. I, I don't know how we're going to get any kind of more concrete these, answers. Respectfully, these are almost regular human civilian folk. They're DC is not going to be crazy high. And their ACs are low. Roll for initiative. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's let's okay. do some dice rolling here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm I just wanted to know where you guys were at. Should we do like a like a group interrogation, like a line up, line them up, and then Ooh. ask them a bunch of questions, and then we'll yeah, sure. we'll insight checks on their reactions. We, yeah, we can say, yeah, you can do that. You can just scan the crowd to see general reactions. Or we can say, like, you say a statement or ask a question, and then you can um, vibe check people's answers and slash or just reactions. If you're if you're just, like, saying, all of you are werewolves, and you want people to be like, <gasps> like, Jonas will be like, what the fuck? <laughs> and you can be like, he's genuine about that, because, yeah, he had no idea. That's where we'll start. <laughs> sweet so yeah you that tell me like the really nature of um how what questions you ask and where you would like your insight role to apply in it's like the end of a hercule perot novel oh, we yeah. all killed I have him been, i have been watching a lot of the mentalist <laughs> <laughs> this is not I like any of them though. <laughs> gotta say. all i need is somebody to keep an eye on kenry we're gonna push kenry we're, we're gonna keep kenry where they are outside oh. the village we're gonna bring everybody yeah. to the center so we can do like a final sort of wrap up yeah you can say yeah i'm like... gonna stay as vic <laughs> okay 
Pluto's gonna hang out with Kenry and teach him to be a hero like he promised. Cool. Aww. Good, good, good. I just came up with a wonderful idea. Ooh, let's go. I, Vic, have found a way to cure us all. Ah. Uh, what do you mean? Oh no, I'm talking to you guys. They... Okay, no. I'm not role playing just yet. What do you mean, this is me? I'm Key, I'm not Tommy. What? <laughs> I'm in. Okay. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, I guess the rest of us will go to the center of town with everyone else. Um, yeah, Camelia, tell everybody to gather around. Um, we, we're going to share our findings and do our last interrogations and all that good mm -hmm. stuff. Cause I'm pretending to be Vic. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, we found Kenry and we still need to find out what happened to Megalyn. Can everybody join me in town, please? They all agree. This song is actually called Listen Up, so canonically we have to. Um, use it. <laughs> I know this um, it's still Final Fantasy 15. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, they all follow you to the center of town. Um, Rianne, the exception, still being unconscious on the outside of town. Mm -hmm. Should I attempt to drag Rianne in? That is up to you, <laughs> my dear. Okay, leave him out. Ludo can crush him easily. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we know about the wolf thing. That there are some of you who are werewolves can turn into wolves. What? Jonas is the first to speak up. That is, that is certainly an interesting theory. Kind of looks around, sees Sarah's expression. <laughs> What's Sarah's expression? Uh. Solemn, pretty solemn. Um, why, why, why aren't you laughing? That's really, really funny. Who here has been infected? Ah, uh, ooh, oh, asking the questions. Um, you, um. I mean, is is Horace back in the center as well now? <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, he would raise his arm, um, kind of, almost immediately. Um, cool. I'm gonna raise mine. Oh. Um. Tisha would raise her hand. Grandfur would raise his hand. Felici would raise her hand. <gasps> and that is it. And I can assume that Rhianne is as well. Yep. I, that bastard, is the one that infected me. You hear Grin for say. And this has been going on for a couple days, huh? Fair few days now, I. Can I roll a perception check? Yeah, what are you looking for? I'm looking for. I'm looking at those who didn't raise their hands. Okay. Do you want to do a insight check to see if they were lying or hiding the truth? Yes, inside check. Okay, yeah. Because I'm Vic, Sweet. I should know. Yeah, I don't know how much yeah. Vic knows, but I should know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, 11. 11. Um, everyone who raised their <coughs> hand seemed to be, seem, seem telling the truth. Um, Sarah is very Pregante, so whether <laughs> anyone would feel evil enough to bite Pregante lady, not sure. 
It also possibly explains why Jonas isn't infected, because Sarah isn't. And they were trying to avoid their parents, so... <laughs> mm -hmm. How about Effie? Any reaction? Effie... Effie looks very put out. Um, with a with an 11, it, she's not hiding anything. Like, she's not... She can't... Deception for shit. Um, okay. She she's she's not raising her hand, but she's doing as good as as much as she can just with her facial expression alone. Is is a, a an admission of guilt in itself. <laughs> so she didn't raise her hand, but she seems kind of she yeah. She's not like proactively denying it. <laughs> she just didn't raise her hand. She's always been a rebel. So, uh, from what I can tell, this is some sort of curse. And I might be able to get some answers, a way to cure you guys, uh, with the help of those at the Ninu Guild. A cure? Who said that? Uh, Sarah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I mean... This curse brought upon the death of Megalyn. We'd rather not have something else happen as well. But my sister was killed. Mm. She didn't die from the curse, she was killed. She was murdered. Mm. And that's why we want a cure. Because something like this can happen again. Something worse, even. One of us might go crazy. Again. I was gonna say, I think one of us already has. Not naming names. Tisha. Oh, well, who do you think it is? Oh. Oh. I, why am I going mad? What, because you decided to attack me while I was healing, yeah? And my husband knocked you out, so I'm suddenly a mad woman. Yeah? Exactly. Maybe other things, I don't remember. But that happened. Not the man that you slept with. Literally... Maybe, probably, having killed Meglin. And you're in denial. What are we talking about here? Rianne. You know, put, put your differences aside, alright? What's going on? Who's sleeping with who? Well, currently, as far as I know, Effie ain't sleeping with anyone. Yeah? Woman's entitled to a privacy. Well, who are you sleeping with, Tisha? My husband. Oh, you seem very, very, te you seem very into who Effie is sleeping with. Because so I'm not 100% sure about that. she's into everyone else's business. I'm not into everyone else's business. I just have ladies, to stand Ladies, 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 shut up! <laughs> Let's put this all aside. Look, Yori and I we're out at the edge of the forest. We came upon a woman. She said she knew what was going on here. She said she knew how to find Kinry. And we went with her. And we found Kinry. We got into a bit of a scuffle with some wild animals out there. Maybe they're part of the curse. I don't know. Luckily... The investigators, they came, they helped us out. And when everything was over, this woman gave us a solution. Where's Yov now then? He and got a bit messed up in the scuffle. He's oh, okay. just out in the forest mending himself. He'll be along shortly. Well, he's seeing. Yvonne, 
You're going to want to sit down for this. Okay. What is it? We have reason to believe Henry was the first. Which means that anyone that comes but, after but him... First what? Wolf. No, Which Henry's... means that we're all his progeny. Henry's not a wolf. <laughs> he, he is what not. Are you, what are you talking about? Investigators, please say something. Vic... Vic... He was Vic the first doesn't... one. No, no. He brought this into your village. He just wanted to protect you all, but... The woman he talked... She gave him it. this power, this curse. Repeat that. I think the silent spell went off again. Uh, <laughs> he, the woman, uh, she gave him this power, this curse. He was the first one and brought it into your village. You see them kind of look to Kinry outside the village. He just looks really up. DM? Yeah. Insight check? Yeah, of course. And anybody else that wants to help? Mm. <laughs> oh. 22. What are their reactions? Ooh. Let's see what everyone else can. <laughs> Seven. Uh. <laughs> They are sad. <laughs> it said Everybody me. collectively? Burr. Yep. <laughs> now mm. even Camellia is also sad. Um, with a 22. I know it's not a low roll. But would you like to add your inspiration to that? Not yet. Okay. Just learn. Just um, you look at the family. You know what? Fuck it. Let's add the inspiration. To that. <laughs> what is that again? I always forget that a is D6. Uh, so just a roll six, right? One d six. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh. they'll go right. So that's twenty six, <laughs> which is exactly what um, I was hoping you would get. For your sake, less so for mine. <laughs> Less so for someone else's. The family, the Moss Waters, um, Tommy, Horace, Brad and Effie. I was going to say Vic and your, but you are Vic, so never mind. Um, Fergus, who's also poodled over. Um, <laughs> Sarah. And Giannis and Grenfer genuinely had no idea. No, that's a lie. Sorry, not Grenfer. And not Brad. Everyone <laughs> but Tisha, Grenfer, and Brad genuinely seemed surprised that Kinry was the first. Genuinely seemed surprised that Kinry was Wolf at all. Looking at Brad, he very much seemed to have had his suspicions that have now been confirmed. Mm -hmm. And he has a look of almost resolution to him, as if something in his head has been justified that he did. Pardon me, looking at Grenfer. Um, you see that he wasn't surprised that there was part of a surprise there so whether Grenfer didn't know that he was the first or didn't know that he was infected you're not quite sure but, 
but maybe he had a suspicion that if anyone was the first, it would have been Kinry. Um, and he also has a look of kind of bittersweet guilt. As if there was something he didn't do that he wishes that he did. For some strange and seemingly out of character reason from how she's been acting the last few days. You don't know whether it's just you've seen something differently or you're just you've had one of those days and you're just a little bit more aware of these things. Tisha Owlsley doesn't seem the least bit surprised by any of this news. Well, all I can say is I know it's not Effie. <laughs> but I hadn't confirmed who it was. So now for my next trick. Lisi. Urban. We might all be cured if Kinry were to die. Maybe the only way. No. No. We can find another way. We can learn to take control. We can, we can find some other way. You want to take that chance? You want another Meg on our hands? I Look at what's happened here tonight. Another choice. Everybody's already tearing each other apart. I don't like it either. And we always have torn each other apart. If it's not one thing, it's another. If it's not Effie and Rian trying to have a secretive affair and it falling apart almost immediately and Brianna abandoning his son, then it's Sarah bringing home a complete foreigner that her own father hates. And if it's not that, then it's my child going missing. If it's not that, it's the affair between the schoolmasters. If it's not that, it's Vic's drinking problem. If it's not any of that, then it's always something else. And now we actually have the power to do things to each other. I don't know what anyone had against Megalyn. But somebody thought to murder her. I'm disgusted with all of you. Very disgusted. So what do we do? Do we set ourselves free? Kids right there. He would have to go through me first. I don't think anybody would have so. a problem with that. Leave my child. So do we just. My children parent must. So do we all just deal with this? How? How? How do we stop from tearing each other apart? I might have an idea. Who said that? <laughs> me, me, tell me. It's me, tell me. <laughs> um, if I've been talking to Jonas about his new technology. Yeah. Lovely conversations, but I don't see what that has to do with anything right now. And the process uses silver. Remember? 
maybe we can find some way to imbue that into a potion or our food of an evening or some other way. Our food would work because then if you don't eat our food, then you are not welcome here and you let it take over you elsewhere. You do not get fed if you are not willing to resist or open yourselves up to resisting what you are. That's just it, Kate. I have a feeling that one of us doesn't want to resist. Right, Tisha? What are you insinuating? I think some of you I like thought it. thought we were over this. I think some of you want this. Who have I attacked? Who? Grenfer? You turned me. Who have I attacked? No one, to my knowledge. Exactly. To his knowledge. Well, there aren't exactly thousands. And you did of attack us Effie. She attacked me. Effie's all talk. See, she did. Oh, she didn't. Thank you, Grandpa. She, Tisha didn't attack. Effie. I attacked Effie because Effie attacked Tisha. Oh. Can I roll insight on his ass? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> yeah, this is getting to be a bit of a mess. I, I hope we can find a way to kind of close. Yeah, you're good. You're good. <laughs> Cause... You're doing great. Mm -hmm. no, Earlier, you're, when, you were, when you were implying that the Mosswaters were shocked about Kinry not being the first, was the implication that they, that we were wrong? That Kinry was not the first? No, they were surprised No, the implication that... is that they had no idea oh, that okay. he was the first. They were just like, our son is missing! And then you were like, we found him! BT dubs. Uh, he's pinching zero werewolf. And they're like, he's a fucking werewolf? And you were like, yeah, the first. And they were like, what the fuck? How? Basically, what? <laughs> everybody except for Tisha, Grenfer, and Brad were surprised that he was the first werewolf. Yeah. I see. Um, Brad and Grenfer seem to have suspicions that were confirmed or denied. Um, Tisha just dead ass. Stone face, motherfucker. Um, so with a 13 insight, mm -hmm. Grenfer, Grenfer's telling the truth. He's, he, you do see that he does feel bad about something. Um, and you do recall that Kinry said about after um, Rianne attacked him that Grenfer attacked Rianne. So it's like it's possible that the guilt came from him not having said anything about that to anyone. Because, you know, if people find out everyone's werewolves, then that's bad for everyone. And you look at Tisha with a 13. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Tisha's acting odd. Like, everyone's acting oddly because they are odd people. Tisha is explicit, explicitly something else. Yeah, I'm pointing the finger at this point. Okay. I'm pointing the finger because I don't know how to extract any more information out of this situation. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, that's bad. I I feel like it I feel like it is Tisha. I don't know if my theory is correct. There is a mm -hmm. piece of evidence that I'm missing here and I don't know how to get it. I did have uh, the idea of like like announcing There is okay. no there was n no proof of who killed Megalyn. That's the problem. We didn't find anything. Mhm. Mm you found so the red I can't hair that looked as if it was real. From the fucking clan of the cave bear over here, it could have been any of them. Yeah. 
What color is Tisha's hair? Uh, Tisha is a kind of strawberry blonde color. Hmm. Guilty color. Rian was the redhead. <laughs> <laughs> Rian was the redhead. That's why we kind of started yeah. to suspect, suspect him at first. Yeah. But it could also be wolf hair. I don't know. They are sort of reddish, these guys. So. Hmm. Tisha's going to go kind of towards Rian's direction, towards the edge of town. Have we just forgotten? That Rian is here? That he... Probably drove oh. Henry out of town? Well, that's... Very, very possible, but... Only because he was the first one turned and knew what Kinry was. And... He was everyone's top suspect for killing Meglin. What reason would he have to kill Meglin? When he knows who is responsible for making him into what he was, he didn't take it well. She'll say, well, you're meant to be the investigators. And she'll take like a knife out of her boot and go to, go to stab unconscious Brian and hit into the shield. And look incredibly confused. <sighs> well played. Well fucking played. Hmm. And you see Tisha kind of go to rub the side of her face and as she pulls her hand over Tisha vanishes uh, and you see a gimmick what? <gasps> oh get the fuck out of here yay he? He. love you guys this is the most bored lady <laughs> <laughs> she really is she, just she hanging really out in this fucking small ass is. town just oh fucking with God. these people <laughs> oh, I'm in love. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you were so, so onto it, and then you just weren't talking to me, and I was like, man, I'm insulted. What have I done for you all to not talk to me? You see Grenfer is fully just like, the fuck is my wife? Um, <laughs> hey, Key. Mm -hmm. Can I cast Entangle on her? <laughs> you can, yeah. Yay. Entangle is so, it's like a 90 foot, you're like getting at the whole town. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> All or nothing. Makes, All makes or nothing. Me, That's fine. Makes me, Everybody makes Entangle. Them easier, makes them easier yeah, to hit with Fireball all. that way. Um... Yeah, y'all just did not want to talk to me. Well, it's funny, I had to kind of uh, address the way I was approaching everything. Came even and just talked to you directly because I was getting so lonely. No offense, Grenfer, but you are not a thrilling conversationalist. And yes, your wife is dead. She, um, oh, she left a few, a few days ago, a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, she just wandered off into the forest and never came back. She knew you were judgmental about Sarah's new uh, husbando and couldn't bear with the guilt. I mean, obviously, I recommended that she should find a new lifestyle, and that's why she wandered off in the first place, but then I was like, maybe I can just stay here, bring some adventures here to have some fun with. But hey, what's going on over there? Why don't you come over, Ludo? I know you're missing female company. Is that gimmick again? <sighs> so... You figured it out. We can't have you 
learning too much old offspring now, can we? Looks to Tarquin. I'm surprised you didn't remember anything from it. But then that would actually maybe require you to think for yourself rather than relying on your memories. Well, your memories, you know. <laughs> you know what I mean. Uh, I'm gonna kill you one day. Yeah, you keep saying that. And like, this is the second time we bumped into each other today. I've been here the past few days. I even met all of you and welcomed myself and welcomed you to this lovely, horrible little grotesque town. And you just didn't do anything. Although I'm flattered that I've gotten more of your attention now. So I guess the question is... Why is all of this happening, hmm? Where does a bitch get so much power? Are you not wondering Bro, that? what are you doing? Teaching the boy how to be a hero. Why? Oh, you're so you're speaking, you're still where you were. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's all I wanted to know. I was like yelling from across the clearing. Because <laughs> I was trying to keep him <laughs> set, didn't want him to hear all the drama and stuff. Mm hmm. Are we all entangled right now? Like just the entire town? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody in the sphere is tangled right now. I, right? I mean, I tried to directly aim it at her. Um, she's fine. Um, who, who fail, she's? Fail. <laughs> um, a couple of people, uh, Grenfer's entangled. Um, Jonas is entangled. Is Gimmick entangled? Brad is entangled, no. She's not? No. Uh. The level 14 could make a DC 12 saving throw, I think. Probably has like means to make it even if she rolled a blow. But no one wants to know where Amelia. I got all of this power. It's kind of a shame. Amelia, really. call Ludo. Call him? Yeah, call him over. L Ludo, we need you here. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> sit here. Be good. Okay? Okay. Yeah. I'm not going near her again. That's the boy. Huh. You make your back. Hello, baby. How are you doing? You miss me. I... Uh, so what? You were just leaving here this whole time? Ask a question. Am I entangled? <laughs> Is um, Vic entangled? <laughs> everyone's entangled. Is yeah, I'm standing on the edge Vic of the entangle. Vic would beef on stats. Uh, you can okay. you can roll a roll a dexterity saving throw, and if you get higher than a twelve, oh, oh. you are not entangled. Okay, I'll do that. We, just, what is that? <laughs> the, the, yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> All right, well I missed. Okay, I'm stuck. I'll, I'll figure this out. I, oh god! I, the second I notice that she's not entangled, can I release the spell? Yeah, you can break oh. concentration yeah. okay, on yeah. it. Yeah. As soon as the they kind of broop, broop, <laughs> just immediately go back in and then back into the ground. Amelia, tell Ludo to go back over there with the kid. D okay. Does really no one want to? What are you talking about? I'm trying to do a thing over here. You're being Shut incredibly up. rude. Ludo, go <laughs> back. Okay. Who are you? Well, oh, okay. in that case, I think we'll just speed this whole thing ahead. Um, you might want to run really fast and you feel Tommy the shift the spell a little bit to the side you feel the ground beneath you start to shake and what what are you doing this is very quick you got time for one thing I told Tommy to shift the spell to the side and I told and then I and I uh, Tommy shift the spell to the side Ludo get the kid and get the fuck over here uh, Ludo <laughs> I might as well take off my disguise while I'm at it <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can hold this spell. Just 
big rumblies under feet. I stuffed the kid in the fridge. Nope! Okay. <laughs> safe in there. Incredible. Incredible. As this chaos ensues, the people in the village screaming, freaking out, not knowing what's happening, you see almost in a perfect circle around you in the air at eye level. Just a silent, as silent as a boat going through perfectly still waters. Where there was a horizon of forest and trees, dappled sunlight turning to moonlight. You see the familiar semblance of curtains with those patterns decorated and beneath them a veil of stars and an astral sea a sea of stars and it entirely encircles the area of this hamlet and as you watch it go all the way round 360 degrees as if perfectly sliced by the sharpest knife. You feel your feet give way beneath you as the ground falls into darkness. And that is where we're gonna end the island. What? The ground Please? is no longer beneath us? And that is where they were gonna end the episode today. Oh, man. Did the world just get sliced she, in half? What happened? She just tore it, tore the veil. Oh, oh yeah, she do that. Yeah, they do that in this game. Hey guys, you know what's exciting? Next week is gonna be the anniversary of the text <gasps> adventure, so it'll be a completely normal episode. It's oh. gonna be such a lovely, <laughs> normal, wonderful episode, and nothing will go wrong, and everything will be great. GG, you guys. You we did it. Let's have some bros on the road. Shall you want to do a, I want to do a whole episode where we just play different characters in a completely different part of the world. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, new party. Like, Don't plan, fucking like, tempt me. Like planning a town meeting or something or like planning a town picnic. Oh. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so the actual... The, the actual, filler episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the actual text adventure chapters has been going on... Since I want to say 2018. Dang. I want to say 2018, if not 2017. Yeah, I think six years, I think you said. Yeah, I think it's, yeah, it was just around the same time I started streaming. Um, Congratulations. Thank you. So we, we've been, we've been here. Um, it's been it's been a slow journey because every life thing that could happen in uh, six years, every life disaster that could happen in six years, pretty much did. Um, but the fact that I'm not gonna cry, the fact that we're here now and I get to play with my friends and they yell at me because I'm a pest, like it's a really <laughs> beautiful, a beautiful progression. Um, you made a really beautiful uh, world I've... here, Keith. Good job. <laughs> Yeah. No, don't, because now I will actually cry. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank you, though. But I, I, I find it the beauty in it is in the collaboration of it. Um, and I was talking to um, lovely, wonderful friend Lemon, aka OGDM, my OGDM, and uh, he didn't inspire all of this bloodlust. I promise. Um, <laughs> it was more about general world lore stuff. But. Um, mm. Like, there is a sincere and heartfelt beauty to sharing this world with people because the nature of it is collaborative. It is nothing without you guys, you know? He was like, hey, can I be from the Feywild and kind of bang in my patron? I was like, fuck yeah. Um, wait, 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 wait. We, can have, we can have sex with our patrons? Someone in the Friday group was like, <laughs> hey, I want to be... A drug dealer in this world. I was like, bet. Um, you know, and 
together they made a party that was um, with among among with a whole other bunch of wonderful people, um, and it was so chaos and beautiful. But you couldn't have that if you had it all planned out before. If you're like you can you can only be a paladin that is in your in your book in in the you can't do it. You know the the whole like I was telling him earlier the plot stuff that we've encountered today links to pretty much all but one campaign that has taken place in this world. This is not the first group that Gimmick has played with. <laughs> Toyed with. It's gonna be her last, I promise you. Hey! <laughs> exactly. She has that effect on a lot of people. Um, the last person that tried to fight her had to be teleported out by an NPC because they were gonna fucking die. Um, I need to find out what happened to those other people as well, by the way. Um, but, uh, yeah, like, it, there's, um, there's a urban legend about Prumarkles, the baker that came from a fucking joke. Like, it, it, it's, it, it has been crafted by the power of friendship. Kingdom Hearts is light. Um, and <laughs> like Kingdom Hearts, kind of spoilers, um, I am Sora with a pizza heart. This world is like Sora with the little pizza heart and it, cause it's made up of so many slices of other people. And if you take them all away, um, I could make a really mean Tarquin joke and I'm not going to. Um, if you take all those pieces of the pizza away, there's not much left because it relies so much on the players that play in the world and the things that they do. Like, I genuinely encourage... That's why I'm like, I enable you guys to do chaos, because I'm like, yeah, just fucking do it, bitch. See what happens. Like, Gimmick does just have 45 feet of movement speed, and I'm sorry about that. But, um... Like, there's nothing <laughs> ever that is... You know... There is nothing that is ever a given. Um, my wonderful friend Pars, who was... Um, I don't know if she lurks these, but we love Pars. If you've been to my channel, you'll know Pars. Um, yeah. Lovely IRL friend. Um, she joined in the second chapter of the text adventure. No, she that's a fucking lie. She didn't. She really started to come into her own in the second chapter of the text adventure uh, because she met a character. And I was like, this is what the character's gonna do. This is kind of gonna be the character's arc the whole time. And then she kissed him. And I had to reconfigure <laughs> the future, the present, the entire campaign, the entire character's inner workings. <laughs> because of that and you know what it was fucking spectacular and made it so much more interesting and it's like why wouldn't i let jc pick up a fucking seagull with a nat 20 you know why wouldn't i why would i ever well i was gonna say <laughs> why would i ever cut off tarquin's leg so he couldn't punch everyone but i'm like technically <laughs> technically got off his arm um but you know it's like why not let camellia be a little nipple baby fun kid like we love that we love it for everyone this is yeah like it's the world is beautiful because you guys make it beautiful um i ruin it with fucking <laughs> with gimmick <laughs> and uh some of the other some of the other villains um there will be more nice people though i promise i, I have noticed that that there are too many annoying characters so that will be fixed um but yeah and no, it's it's a it's a freaking joy, but yeah, that um that little thing I mentioned last time about like the three hype train level sevens we got in a row, and how it maybe changed the state of the world. I uh, might see a little bit of that next week. Who knows? So that'll be fun. You know, if you will survive. I mean, certainly not all of us, but yeah, at least the kid in the fridge. But then who's going to open the fridge? That's what made it so much funnier. Because I was like, oh, I guess he's coming <laughs> along. <laughs> oh, did I just kidnap a kid? Fuck, man. You did. Yeah, you did. He, you so just, many bats. You just took him back to his parents <laughs> and then proceeded to immediately kidnap him again. <laughs> 
uh, some world record turnaround. Um, can we get Luda to kiss someone? <gasps> Umberlai is waiting for you. Yeah, I know. Where's my Umber babe? Been so long. Umber baby. Okay, so mm -hmm. what ha ha what happened <laughs> at the end? Like we. Uh huh. Like the world disappeared, like it fell out from underneath us, got slashed in half, like what? Sure. It was it just us? It wasn't the whole Sure. Town. Um, from what you can tell. You said gather... we kidnapped a kid. <laughs> yeah, so that means yeah, so just If us. we kidnapped a kid, that means that only us. <laughs> well, I get separated, but um so from what you can tell there was a perimeter. Around, the, sorry, you call me a pest. I have to live up to that. <laughs> <now>. um, <laughs> challenge accepted. Um, you uh, saw like a, a perfectly circular perimeter just around the outskirts of the hamlet um, happen, and that's where the ground started to rumble, rumble, grumble, grumble, and then kind of around the same perimeter, you saw the veil be pretty much, I can't even say torn, like it was just sliced. It was just very neatly sliced. And um, you felt the ground beneath you fall and everything went black. I'm grinning, you can't hear it, but I'm grinning. It's like grimace to it. I'm not that mean. Dang, I thought it was like some big old earthquake. It was, <coughs> and, the, and then the earth fell. So it was an earthquake and then an earth fell. Yeah. I just want my credit for figuring it out. Good job. Yeah. No. <laughs> fucking did it. You you had it was very hard not to say anything, but you guys had a You were trying too pieces. hard not to say anything, even when I was calling you out. <laughs> <laughs> I just was... didn't the, the, the thing I didn't know is I didn't know why uh tisha wanted mm -hmm. everything to stay the way that it was because i didn't know tisha yeah. was a completely different person yeah and that, no, i didn't have any clue to that at fucking all fucking typical that like you spoke to her the absolute least um i was like oh my fucking god it's one of just one of those coincidences she was blending in too well <laughs> she wasn't the first person that breakfast tacos inter interrogated was she no, I, you I guys spoke to was... Renfer and then the daughter. You guys mm -hmm. totally yeah. missed her. Ah, okay. Yeah, Tisha we would have caught him right on the spot. Yeah, we would have rolled initiative <laughs> as soon as we saw him. <laughs> but yeah, I don't the... think the second day we got back around to them. Yeah, because I wanted to talk to Grenfer afterwards, but yeah, we never yeah. got around the... to that family again. Oh, we spoke to uh, Giannis and I was Giannis and Sarah, and that was it. Yeah, the TLDR is. Um, a few days ago, Gimmick went to town. Um, she met with Kinry um, just after he was like, I'm sorry, I did the, kept doing the cry wolf thing. I didn't mean it. Um, and offered him, like he said, a way to protect his family and live his dreams out. And he was like, I fucking love wolves, man. Yeah, hell yeah. Um, and I want to protect my family more so. Hell yeah. Um, and that's how he became like an Um... And then, yeah, as was described, he was just pissing about in the town before he kind of fully knew the extent of it. Um, he was just like, oh, cool, I'm like slightly hairier now, rare. Um, and he had full control of it. Um, so he was just like fucking around on the building site. Um, Effie was not happy about it because she's a Karen. And um, Rihanna is like, I'm a deadbeat dad and nobody knows that I'm a deadbeat dad. Everyone knew that he was a deadbeat dad. And um, because Brad is his kid, uh, da, da, da. and uh, he was like, Kenry, get down from there. And Kenry was like, No, and then he tried to grab him, and Kenry bit him, which is how he got the curse. Um, Kenry kind of um, read his books a lot, which helped kind of prevent him from turning too much and kept him in control. Uh, Rianne wasn't so lucky, and over time, it was kind of a domino effect of him cursing someone else they couldn't control it sometimes they could control it so it was 
Um, it wasn't everyone infected everyone, it was like a few people infected the wrong people and then they infected other people. Um, so, for example, Meglin accidentally infected Horace, which is why he was so shtum about the scar on his neck. Um, because he didn't want Meglin to get, you know, any shit for it. Um, that was the only thing I wasn't 100% sure about. Yeah. Um, I didn't think Meglin was. No. She, she, she unfortunately was, but she'd like, yeah. Tommy was basically trained to be a werewolf hunter by the time that Eglin <laughs> was killed, um, which is part of the reason that Rianne killed Meglin, uh, because, um, Tisha was like, I don't know about that Meglin, like, she, she's, she seems like she's gonna fucking do something, and she's like teaching this Wait, Rianne killed Meglin? Rianne killed Meglin, but Tisha incited it because Gimmick. Uh -huh. um, okay. Yeah, Gimmick was like, oh my god, she's teaching the kids old Osprin. Like, what if she's turning them against us? Like, that's your kid. Oh my god, yeah, I know your kid is Brad. Like, that's your problem. You should go sort that out. And because Rianne couldn't really control his curse, he went and attacked her. So he wasn't fully, when you interrogated him, he wasn't fully sure if he had done it. Um... But he did. Um, but again, Fucking gimmick dork. is mostly to blame for all of this. Um, yeah. I... Okay. Yeah, and um, re yeah, Rianne also caught Frank reading one of the books, which really, um, really uh, sent him over the edge to do it. Um, Tommy found the spell and cast it just after Kinry went missing, um, and she was very much taught Jonas thought like she was just a budding young photographer in the making inventor but <laughs> she was just like this process uses silver we'll need silver if we're gonna beat these fuckers uh, but hopefully we don't have to murder everyone in town but if we do we've got to do this Brad um <laughs> but yeah that didn't that didn't help and then yeah when uh Kinry um was out and got attacked by Rianne uh Gren first saw and attacked Rianne to stop him, but knew that if he said anything, that everyone would blame him because he is an easy target and a very aggressive person, and he knew that. Um, and uh, Brad came and took Steel back home to make sure that he was safe. And that is the mystery of Weinfeld Creek. We did it! Yay! GG's though, that was, that was a lot. It was a good yeah, picture. it was. And yeah, gimmick literally turned up in yeah, town. Yeah, pardon so... me for for like the end there, but like no, I you're was good. genuinely just trying to. I was trying to let you know that I'm just trying to call this out right now. That no, I appreciate. Like, there's the nowhere else to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. None of us would have been able to predict fucking gimmick in oh. the town this entire time. It was so funny because when. Because she literally said, how fast can you run? Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. And before she cast fly on herself. I was like, this fucking cheeky bitch. Because <laughs> she was basically hoping that you would go slowly back to the village. So that she would have time to go and be Tisha again. Because otherwise Tisha wouldn't have been there and it would have been sus. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I figure I figured you probably had something set up. We just didn't go down that path. Yeah, but yeah. it... it yeah, you you got the Tommy shit though, like right away. And then last week you said a lot of theories that I was like, well, they're fucking on to me. <laughs> if we had pursued Kisha a bit more, would we have been able to pick up on clues? Possibly. Mm. Um, have you met Gimmick? She is very sneaky and very deceptive. <laughs> um, it, the. Yeah, the 26 sealed the deal. The 22 would have been like, Tisha is being real fucking sus right now. Like, surprisingly fucking sus, considering she's a regular human person. the same information person. I already had. <laughs> yeah. But the fact that she was just like, you caught her, like, so fucking relaxed in her act, and it wasn't part of her plan, was fucking sick. And then it was ultimately the shield that did her in. Which was very funny and very cool. Yay! Yay! You guys sincerely did really well. 
Yeah, Shame about the rest. <laughs> High or low? Tarquin, you lost an arm today. You get to choose. High or low? Hi. Hi! That's a 19. You know what that means? I get a powerful magic alarm. Level 7! <laughs> Level 7! <seven>! Oh, shit! <laughs> Yeah. yeah. No, man, that was great. I'm just fucking, yeah. It was either going to be Sweet. this episode or next. So why not start the anniversary stream next week with a bang by being level fucking Yay. seven? Yeah, level seven. It's probably a little bit fast, but that's fine. Whoever said I'm a good BM? I'm Would you like us to prepare BM. anything special for the Thanks. anniversary? Very. Should we wear tuxedos? Um, Bring a couple extra pair of pants. Just in case. Um, All right. Bring some food and drinks and party hats. I'm blowing up balloons. <laughs> Yay! And yeah, if you guys have, if any of you guys have suggestions for potential okay. bingo cards, um, <laughs> um, then put them in the Discord and we will add them to bingo cards and hopefully have a way where you guys can interactively play bingo with us next week. And if you win bingo, maybe you'll get some cool little prizes or something? Yeah. I don't know. Like, that would be cool, maybe? But he will, yeah. <laughs> He's going to be like, hey, guys, where, where, are, where are we? Why, is, why <laughs> can't I not see like? anything? <laughs> what, what did you do? <laughs> did you punch the kid? <laughs> But yes, thank you all. I know that was a long one as well, so very, very GG's, everyone. Um, thank you guys so much for coming along. Thank you guys so much for playing. Biggest GG's. That She's no easy fucking beast. And y'all did not die to her, which is in itself a phenomenal, a phenomenal thing. Um, we and... did it with the power of a very generous chat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very much so. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Woo! Indeed. That Incredible dang. stuff. Thank you guys. You guys are a part of this story too. You guys have made decisions that affected the world. You are now culpable also. Um, <laughs> and uh, You're possibly responsible for that punched kid. Mm -hmm. That is actually very true. But the Why kid might have that, died yeah. if he was not punched. So... Less your evil? Um, we'll see. I am not responsible for anything. Yes, you are, Maka! Hey, Maka! Um, but yes, thank you sincerely so much for all of the support and the love and monies and just for you guys being here and watching. Y'all been here the whole fucking time. Woo! Um, whenever I purchase on the session's coffee. <laughs> Yes, do it. Speaking of, we have a coffee where if you would like to support the sessions but also get a little character or a character with some art or even like a mini cannon in World One shot with your character. Holy moly. You can do that and support the project at the same time. We will have a call and DM and and D, &D, &D together and it will be canon in the world of Isafay. Um and hopefully it will be cool. And yeah, you can support us there. We've got the Twiddle. Um, thank you, Scorpio Modla, for all the links as usual. You have to shout yourself out now, Scorpio. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you again and check out our wonderful game Ober with two underscores. You can find him right here. You're already there. Gigi, Hello. You did it. Um, and you can also check him out where? Also we on here, YouTube but... as Cardlin Audio and on Twitter as Cardlinish and on uh, OnlyFans. My name there is uh, Belle Delphine, is my name there. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was Onihu. What's your Onihu's profile? <laughs> what? Only who's? Only hooves. Oh yeah, no, that one that one's private. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, Jesus. 
We also have the wonderful Darian Odia. Where can we find you, Darian? Well, I have a YouTube channel by the same name. Well. You can find me on Twitter posting dumb memes. Fuck yeah. And you can find me on OnlyFans with a Volantis account. <laughs> <laughs> Volantis Dario. Um, what, oh, God, what was the lady from last week? Paula. Um, Paula, yeah. <laughs> Paula. <laughs> Never Paula. forget Paula. Um, we've, of course, got Dime Package also. Where can we find you, Dime? Uh, you can find me here on Twitch, Variety Streamer. Uh, Halloween oh. special is coming up very soon. <gasps> from Dime October to whenever. Dime and uh, you can find me... Here. At, you can find me at Twitter as Dime Package, that's D A I M, like the little K wafers. Dime uh, Yeah. He's Dime, but Scandinavian. Also posting Chocolate. dumb shit. <laughs> Big, huge movie fan, too, if you guys are. Mm hmm. You want to chat about stuff? Hell yeah. And, uh,. Of course, I, I don't know why I was like I was like do I do a bit while I'm like with Rubes where I don't remember Rubes and then like I was thinking that in real time as the uh was happening and then I was like bitch you're alive I was like ah shit <laughs> <laughs> and of course we have Rubes make stuff where can we find your Rubes make stuff you can find me basically anywhere as Rubes make stuff Instagram Twitter Whoa. here on Twitch. Yeah. Wait, so Danny was here the Branding. the whole time, and Rubes was everywhere some of the time. Mm-hmm. Whoa. That's crazy. And Can't find I... me on only Hoops, though. <laughs> oh, that's what, that, that's, what that, that's what they want you to think. <laughs> um, we're all on only Hoops. <laughs> And um, my, my name is Dearest Cheeks. D -E -D -E -R. Um, and uh, my my name on Only Hooves is Staggering Titties. Nice, <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> good, good day with the end. It was a pun, and then I just I got confused. Um, yes, please go and check out Avir as well, who made lovely friends. Um, I believe mm -hmm. Subdudu did uh, Winnie, mm -hmm. if I'm correct. Yeah, Subdudu did yeah. Winnie Winnie. So go send Subdudu. Subdudu. Subdoodles. Subdoodles. Um, and I have been Key. Uh, you can find me in your fucking nightmares. Yeah. All right. He 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 he. No, I'm I'm sweet. I I <laughs> am the breeze in the back of your mind every time you see a seagull and. The words hub 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 come to mind. Hub hub hub. Um, but no, I am also on Twitch. <laughs> no, but anyway, a lot. <laughs> I am on Twitch as Kimerki. I will say hi in chat. Uh, hi. Um, any pronunciation of Kimerki is accepted. We have a new favorite. <laughs> um, we have an official top three. Uh, first place goes to Crazy Asian with Kim. Kimerokli, Kimerokli, like oh. Kimerokli. Um, I asked him to always call me that now. Um, we then have second place. I can't remember who it was, but they called me Kimerokwai. And uh, third place is Froggy, who went. We have a new, we have a new follower. Hello, Kimerokli. Um, that is literally how they pronounced it, and uh, beautiful. Uh, but yes, you can find me here. You can find me on uh, Twitter as Key Garland Art because uh, I'm too afraid to change it to VA and uh, everything is different for me. Uh, I, I am also on Spotlight. Oh, so if you're like looking for a voice actor, oh, you can go and check me out there. Um, and I'm also on IMDb, which, yeah, which doesn't mean anything, but you can go and check it out, and then I can feel better oh, about shit. paying for IMDb Pro. <laughs> <laughs> it will feel more worthwhile. Um, but yeah! And you can also find us here every Wednesday and next Wednesday for the anniversary of the text adventure. Not, not Tales of the Tarnvale, not yet, but 
yeah, you can find us here next Wednesday, same time. And we will, we will be playing more d and I believe. And it will be fun. And no one will have nightmares. And everyone will have all of the arms required. Maybe. Yay. Yay. We love you guys. Thank you for being you. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for the love. Thank you for joining us in Isafrite and also here. And uh, until next time, I think there's only one thing we can say to end it today. Ow! Ow! I'm a short quartet. <laughs> okay, exactly. Good night. <laughs> good night, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.